You all are getting prepared to fight Cecilia the Great, the dragon of Nuba Sky. You have two hours to get prepared. If there's anything you wish to do, places you want to visit, things you want to buy in the meantime before you go in, or if you have no intentions or money to spend, uh, you can just wait at the Colosseum and get all prepared with the clerks and the registrar. A uh, word has to go and purchase a crown. A crown. I also would like. I would like yeah. to follow word into buying costumes for this. <laughs> for buying. Uh, I see Co yeah. crowns. All right. We you, got a costume up. You can probably oh. find such jewelry at the Smith. <clears throat> in which case, I will show. Uh, you go to Valentino's Touch, and I will show all the things that you can get there, including That's... the jewelry that is lo oh, run come by on. a harangue man. A harangue man on, who is uh, working the <laughs> anvil once you arrive, and he does uh, do jewelry as well. So you can get a crown there, a, a decorative one that only costs one silver. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Another Tune in for the Final Fantasy XIV thing for more hot bunny guys. <laughs> Another, I'm I'm not a fairy, but added to the list. Thank you. Something, up, something, there, Bugs Bunny, Gaijinka, something. <laughs> yes. Anyway. And if you scroll down, you, you can see that he adds uh, services aside from just the decorative ones as well. He uh, does a thing called Valentino's Touch, which buffs your weapon for a uh, temporary amount of time that gives you advantage on your first attack, etc. Hmm. Um, weapon skills, armor skills, things like that. If anyone has the money to afford that, pulling it together. Um, very definitely expensive. Not. I have Let's see. four gold. So. <laughs> if I were um, to be looking for like also like a costume to use, because um, word is word, are you having like a costume or just a crown? I, guess you uh, I already oh, have music like, jump scared the, me. the robe and the cape. So oh, yeah, I'll that. talk to I'll talk to word. I'll say. Now, I'm just wondering, I mean, we're going to want to put on a good show. I mean, do exactly. you, you, you seem to have picked out sort of your character. Do you have any yeah. ideas for, like, what I could do? Like, like perhaps uh, I could incorporate myself into, like, your character, like a something of sorts, or... Well, you got I really, know. really long arms. Mm -hmm. uh, it'd be hard to find, like, a good fitting cost. I feel like there's something there... Since I'm, you know, the God King Word, you could be like uh, my my priest. What are those called? Like a scholar of of my godliness, or you could put on like a knight helmet and mm. be like my my scribe. Or I could my be like protector, an, like an acolyte of sorts, like a, yeah. like a right hand sort of. Hmm. God King Word's acolyte. Uh, the, uh, what about fuck. just the the acolyte? That's that's good. The, that's like, like that's a stage. That's the whole name. name. All right, that's fair. If it's good enough. I like enough. that one. Okay, I'll look the for. Acolyte. I want to. Can I look for like a robe that I like a hood that I can put? Like I want to look like a like a <laughs> sort of monk type of you know with a. I don't know if I'm describe. I don't know how to describe this. Wearing like a like a brown robe. I don't wear armor, so it doesn't it doesn't really yeah, yeah, like, matter. Yeah, yeah, it'll just me. be clothing. Yeah, you can find um, one. It's like a copper. It's not even a silver. Just like yeah, a piece I'll, of it's just like a bed sheet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want it to obscure my face so I can like stand menacingly behind word when, yeah. we, when we do this yes. for our for our for our entrance oh. song when the entrance song plays. Mm -hmm. Can I get like a little bandit mask too? <laughs> oh yeah, that that can be included can I, with the crown. Cool. Can I also get a bandit? I want one that looks like words. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do. I want to do up this. Yes, yes, you may. We're doing WWE. I'm gonna go how full about, on. How yes. about this? You you pay one gold piece, and you have sure. basically all the materials you need to make the costume that you want. P perfect. Oh That's too much freedom. Oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna walk out into the arena like that scene in uh, Avatar, where he's just coming <laughs> out with different armor. He <laughs> just tips over. <laughs> yeah. L Lara and Fritz show up and, bu and Buck and Word walk out in their like costumes. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> All right, we're ready. With what are you guys? Uh, we're, I think we're ready to go. We got, sort of got our costumes on. Yeah, what costumes? are you guys gonna be? Presumably you know, the pilgrims of Satya. <laughs> ah, well, you're that's gonna want to buy it. If you're if you're gonna want to get the uh, the crowd on your side, there's got to be a, at least some sense of pageantry. I mean, that's what that's what the Colosseum's all about. Mm. Uh, hmm. I'm good, I think. <laughs> like, like our backstory I, I, is, I, I'm an acolyte of the God King <laughs> Word, and oh. I, I am the one and only God King Word, the ruler of everything and master of combat. So you just just going is like the champion of Satya. I don't. I, that's a bit undertoned from 
for my opinion. I think it, I think it'll work later. I think you'll be fine. Mm. Th- thank you. Frit, Fritz. <laughs> what, what about you, Fritz? you? What's your What's your character that you're doing? Uh, you could be like my I... my flying acolyte. We could get you another bed sheet. You could be like a ghost. Acolyte? Like what? Like like a the cleric like a, thing? The, like the follower and protector of the God King Word. Oh. Yeah. But don't, I mean, feel free to come up with your own sort of independent <laughs> thing. I mean, don't. <laughs> I want to be a phoenix. Ooh. Ooh. Well, How I do I set some... myself on fire? No, uh, I don't think like, that's no, the right no. way to go about it. You could sort of represent fire by having maybe a, a, a brighter red sort of outfit. I could dye or maybe some feathers? Adorn. Yeah, I think I saw a guy that we had have like two a bunch hours. of cayenne pepper powder. Um, <laughs> you could just coat your body in that. That feels okay, unwise. Okay. I, I would agree. Let's go with maybe a sort of an aesthetic of, of a phoenix. And maybe you rise. What would that be? Um, well, we could give it like a bucket like of ashes. A rep, no, like a representation in your clothing as opposed to setting you on fire or covering you with some sort of toxic dust or whatever yes. it is. Or during the act, be... we could like fake kill her and then sh- they, they like come well, back. Do... That feels <laughs> very now unhelpful. You've got, you got, well, hold on. I think he's got something to it. That sounds a nice. Word. What? Come from behind. Like, a, like the phoenix. A come from behind. Yeah, like the phoenix. <laughs> Like you rise up and you and you take. I could get the crowd going. I'm a very good actor. I'm sure I could fake death. All right, that'll be Act One. <laughs> All In right, Act Three, I'll be... the God King defeats the dragon or whatever and becomes the one himself. Penetra- I have some Phoenix. reservations. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, look. What are the you? Heck? Can I like look for? Um, like something that would help Fritz look like a like a phoenix. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's various different colored cloth, although not at the smithy. Uh, probably be- find some better stuff at like I don't know the silversmith, which I don't have a thing for, but you could probably find it in the general goods uh, area. You give you like Just a like second a, identical hot bunny guy running yes, that one. Yes, second identical. Yeah, they're they're rivals. Um, <laughs> and uh, you can p- perhaps find like a bit of like powder dye stuff that needs to like just add water sort of stuff. I do like red ribbons. Yeah, like like war wings. paint, kind of similar to what Cecilia has on her face. Mm. Heck yeah. Okay. Could I like change my scarf for maybe a red one? Mm. Yeah, you could like dip it in the, the paint. Um, it's washable, so you could just like dip it yeah. in the paint to make it red for the, the fight. Not the worst thing I've spilt on this. <laughs> Leave it out to dry in the two hours. It is a very sunny yeah. day, after all. I'm a phoenix. Caca. <laughs> uh, that feels like I'm being weird to my own bird people. Yeah. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna go. Ch- I'm gonna go change over at the. Um, what's the What's the name of the place? The Soft Shores Inn. I'll go over there and change and t- put on my robe, and I'll come meet you guys. I mean, is there? Uh, there's nothing else that. I think I need to fix or get ready. Mm. Yes, I'm prepared. Yeah, I'm pretty... Oh, yeah, I'm prepared. As you guys are discussing as well, you hear the door bell ring a little bit as someone kind of peeks in, uh, looks to be a human, and a masculine voice calls out to you. Uh, It's unfamiliar. Uh, You are there, uh, pilgrims! And you are approached by a fairly short human man dressed in some merchant clothes. And he's got furs and jewelry all across <clears> his body. <throat> and a particularly fancy feathered cap. And he says, uh, I uh, hear uh, you are in the plans to fight the, the uh, Baskayan bull, uh, Cecilia the Great, yes? Yeah, that'd yes. be us. Regrettably. He lifts his hat and tips it a little bit. And uh, you can see the, the bunny smith just rolls his eyes a little bit and goes <laughs> to smithing again. And you see this human. I want hmm. that necklace. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I am Nico Vag, uh, Vagnoni, entrepreneur and a vendor in the markets area, and I got a business pro- proposition for you, eh? Yes. All right. You will be a fighting at the Colosseum, and you will need to get prepared if you want to not be smashed to bits by Cecilia, yes? Mm. Well, I yeah. am willing to give you a sponsor. Oh. 
I what? give you a little what bit of a helper mean? getting your goods for your inevitable beating. Take care of your paperwork to make sure you get the share of any potential bets for or against you. And ex in exchange, I get the cut and you are advertising my store. Mm. And Buck? how are we gonna. Uh, uh, oh, yeah? You seem the expert in this sort of dealing. Well, just, I mean, how are we gonna advertise your store in the. Um, ah, I'm like... glad you asked. It's a super uh, one, two, three step. First, you wear these incredibly fashionable hats, and Nico <laughs> hands you all a feather cap identical in design to his. Okay. Mm -hmm. A step two is whenever you knock out an opponent, you say uh, that a knockout was thanks to shopping at Nico Vagnoni's at the west corner of the marketplace. And then a step uh, three uh, is I get a small percentage of the winnings from from all the bets. A simple labor cost seems fair to me, eh? And what what is it that you are getting in return? And what are we getting in return? Yeah, for I, I don't this? really see a benefit. Well, I do all the paperwork. In order for you to get the same earnings, you need to sift through a lot of bureaucracy, eh? I do not like paperwork. Me neither. I don't, I just don't really want to do this. Besides, <laughs> I have been hearing a lot of talk around the town and uh, lots of bets against you. So if you will win, you'll be rolling in that door. You probably means that you'll be able to spare a few coins. Well, in exchange, I, think... I can pull some strings with some pals around the markets, get you some things that you need without having to pay, eh? I think it's a good deal. It's like you get money up front, but without all the hassle. Back to the old ways of barter, eh? What's the percentage? Uh, I think a, a, a 20%. I think that's a fair, eh? There's five of us. 20% yeah. each? Well, you will keep at the 80, eh? Split between you four. <clears throat> I think my biggest problem is that I already have a hat, and I'm not going to remember the name of your shop. And we're already, I think we're already sort of sponsor, we're already sort of sponsoring a, a local business. Oh, which one is yeah. that? I'll make sure to give you an extra bigger cut. That's the blacksmith right there. We're telling him that uh, we like his shop. Uh, actually, what what if we, uh, if for the worst I mean, we could... I know the soft Rama at the Soft Shores Inn needs. I know his business could use some publicity. Oh, you don't know how to, You don't wanna. Don't wanna be sponsored by him. He's a. He's a going down. You know he's gonna be out of business by the end of the year. I tell you what. Oh, you sound Isn't very certain of this. Mm. Listen, you sponsor him. You're not gonna see much of a return. But well, you go with me. I make sure your name is plastered all throughout the city. They're no gonna want to give you money. No, you talked bad about my friend. <laughs> okay. I also like the idea of plastering my name in the city just by myself. It's pretty easy to do. It takes like a day. All right. Some paint. That is absolutely fair. I am a fair businessman. I understand. <laughs> but if you ever need me, western corner of the marketplace, huh? Actually, yeah. Where can I get some paint? Uh, there's a die monger <laughs> about uh, two clicks, uh, like f further south of my shop. You can go buy it from her. Thank you very much. You've been a big help. Yeah, and I take his hat and I start walking. <laughs> you take his hat? The, the, the no, hat no, the, the one that he, yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, I'll make I sure really you wear that head. in the tournament. Maybe uh, we could make a deal. Uh, no, no, no. Okay, he's a gun. Mm. Shouldn't have insulted my friend. Buckle. Yes, well, we appreciate your attempts to strike a deal, even if they weren't quite successful. Well, I, I mean, I, he did give me a good idea. I mean, do we think mm -hmm. Rama would want us to sponsor him? I mean, I feel like he's done us a good turn, and I don't know if that would help his store out somewhat, if that's something that he'd be interested in. I I wasn't aware that... I, I mean, I guess I understood that there were sponsors, but I didn't know that... It did seem like a little much to be wearing the hat and saying the long thing after we knocked someone out, but maybe there's you something You guys are not going to believe this. They had a two-for-one sale at the paint place. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, Just carrying I, buckets of you're paint. You're carrying a lot of paint there. Dare I ask you why? Help? <laughs> well, he said that he was going to put all, like plaster on names all over town, so I'm just going to do that anyway. <laughs> oh, maybe Isn't we should do that vandalism? not right now. <laughs> we'll do it before we leave. So they'll remember us, but they can't remember us while we're here. It right, would be nice running. to help Rama. Yeah, I'm, I have to change anyway, so I'm I'm gonna go back to the <laughs> um, soft shores in. Yeah. And see I'm not entirely sure how this sponsorship is supposed to work. 
If we defeat an opponent, are we supposed to say, thank goodness for the excellent rest we acquired at the Soft Shores Inn? Yes. <laughs> Just well, down the road? <laughs> maybe great. maybe he has like some sort of symbol we can wear, you know, something a little bit more subtle than... Mm -hmm. uh, Is the purpose of advertising to be subtle? Well, Not I mean, the way I do it. I don't think rum is the flashy type. <laughs> I just, this I just true. mean that it's something that maybe a little bit more practical in battle than taking up valuable battling time yelling out about the soft shore and something that hmm. well, maybe Rama has some ideas. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> in my I, experience, talking seems to take almost no time at all. <laughs> It's almost like Let's a free him. action that you get to do. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ask him. I've said a lot within six seconds. All right. So you guys go to the soft shores. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you go into the soft shores and you go to see Rama again. And he uh, very much, he's kind of, uh, you notice that he's kind of cleaning up shop. He's propping uh, chairs up and stuff as there's, again, there, no business. Uh, hmm. in his his tavern right now. And he notices you come in. Ah, uh, pilgrims, uh, good good to see you. Uh, you came back so soon. Uh, was Were you able to get the heart? No, we're going no. to have to fight uh, the dragon of Nubisky, but... Oh, oh, I see. I, I guess uh, Cecilia, she wants to put on a show. That yes. is just like her. Um, I don't, do not mind the chairs being propped up. I... I decided to close up shop early um, to go have a walk about. Uh, I, I don't anticipate many people will be coming to visit today, um, especially oh. now considering you will fight her. In fact, I, I think I might go watch. Oh, well, that would certainly be a kind show of support. But uh, what brings you here? Should you not be getting ready for, for the fight? Well, well we kind of are. I've got some business to do outside. I need to rest for about 10 minutes before I can wild shape again. Other than that, I'm ready to go. And I got to change into my robe, but Rama, we were just thinking that, um, well, we're going to have a lot of eyes on us while we're in the Coliseum, and uh, it had been brought to our attention that sometimes fighters have sponsors, and we were wondering if we could maybe, if it'd be okay with you, sponsor your, uh, your wonderful inn. I, I don't know if that would be something that you'd be interested in at all. He looks a little bit like taken aback by that. Oh, oh, no, no, I, I could never ask that of you. That, uh, that would be too much. Uh, you've already given me this wonderful painting here. Uh, even if it doesn't do anything for the business, it is still an honor to have and something that I would cherish forever. Uh, I could never ask you more. You've already done so much. Uh, especially Lord Candela paying for your room and board for me. It has helped me in a very, very tough month. Uh, I, I, I don't mean to speak out of turn. I don't want to speak for everybody, but um, <laughs> we're not really a, a, like asking. Um, to, I mean, like well, we. I mean, we'll do it. We'll do it uh, for for free, oh. and you know, just to help you out, like a good turn. Um, there is a. Slightly more pertinent question it might do us well to ask first. Rama, do you want to continue running this in? He kind of takes his fingers and kind of uh, poking them together. I don't know. I think I do, but I've never had the business opportunity to know if it's something that I would do. I've never had a bustling crowd come in here, so I don't know if it would be my calling. I've never had the chance. I definitely would want to continue my parents' legacy, but... Uh, good tree, bless me. Fine. If there's only one way to find out. He reaches into his pocket and he pulls out a, a few cloths. They look like handkerchiefs. Mm -hmm. And he hands out the four to you. Here. Oh. Here. Uh, perhaps if you could wear these. You, you don't need to make it very loud or obnoxious in your presentation just if you wore this it would very much mean a lot to me maybe around the neck or i don't know a mask of some time uh, of some kind uh, around the arm or something and he, he hands it? you yes. a handkerchief that mm. uh word you can actually recognize it says in draconic soft shores mm. oh okay and you can see that it's got a little uh decoration a, a sewing of a palm tree 
indicating mm -hmm. the the shores of Nuba Sky and the vegetation that grows therein. Yeah. Extremely cute. Yeah. I'm gonna tie it around so my neck pretty. like a handkerchief. I'm gonna put it around my arm. Even if it <laughs> does not bring anyone in, uh, there is no harm in trying. Yes. Certainly. I'll yes. do it around my arm. Oh, I'm yeah, I want to put it. I want to put it around my. Uh, like a mask, like over my nose and like a, <laughs> a bandana sort of type thing. Thought about doing that, but I've already got the little bandit mask thing. <laughs> oh, I already have that. Yeah, what is the bandit mask? Like, is it just like over the eyes, like a little, uh, <laughs> yeah, like, like sort of Robin like a, from Teen Titans type thing? Yeah, yeah double mask. Some, something like that, or like uh, the, I think Ninja Turtles have. <laughs> oh, I see. That their eyes I still would like to cover them. I would like to cover my full face uh, with, the, so okay. I'll put the bandana. <laughs> you have a beautiful face, where I don't want to. You obviously yeah, have no, some I, of it. I can't hide too much of this, baby. <laughs> uh, I do but hope I am, that I... you will keep those safe. They are uh, one of, they are f for a very few. I only have two left, and uh, well, I try to keep them safe. They are the last that I have of of my my father, and Ooh. it means a lot to me that you would come here. So I, I do not give it to you lightly. <laughs> Of course. I would die for this person. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, Even if this does not bring in business, consider it a good luck charm. Thank you. Aw, good luck charm. That's sweet. I'm yeah. going to scream their name, I swear. I mean, <laughs> Well, you guys are getting prepped and ready. I am going to vandalize his business. No! <laughs> uh, I'm stepping outside, and I'm going to paint uh, as ornately as I can just the words "God King" word on like the front the front wall of his building. Mm. Uh huh. Uh, are you doing it stealthfully, or are you just doing it out in the open? <laughs> I'm doing it out in the open. Out in the open, you can see Rama yeah. is like, oh, well, I, I, I guess I did need a little bit of renovating. Maybe that would spice things up. I would not recommend yes. encouraging him. This is a powerful stamp. When people see that I stayed here, they'll want to stay here too. <laughs> oh, that is a very smart idea. Thank you, friend. <laughs> um, I'm going <laughs> to take the opportunity to eat my gladiator's donut so that I can ah, have yes. the temp HP. Yep, yep. Anyone who wishes to, too. you may eat your gladiator's donut, roll a d4, and that's how many temporary hit points you'll have. Yeah, I'm going to take a short rest as well so I can get my wild shape back. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I only got the one. Somebody got two of them. Two. Yeah, I'll eat mine. Oh, I think I only got one. I only wrote down that I had one. There we go. A decent amount. No one rolled a one. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> that means we're going to win. Yeah, I'm sure that's, that's going to bode well for us in the future. Yeah. <laughs> when she, when her attacks do three damage. Hey, those two hit points could be the difference between life or death. That's Literally. so true, bestie. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So... You guys, uh, are you guys all ready and prepped up? Oh yeah. Yes. I'm looking I like a I'll... masked yeah. acolyte. Got my ho Fuck. hood up. I have a plan. Oh no. I want to follow closely behind Word with my <laughs> like, hands on my sleeve. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I've been <laughs> hanging out with Word too much. <laughs> I'm Fuck. a wonderful influence. Plans have me alarmed. I have a plan. <laughs> I want to help Rama. Yes. How about yes. after? No matter if we win or lose, we encourage everyone to go get absolutely drunk at Rama's place. Nothing more great than watching a good show and then getting absolutely plastered. Sort hmm. of like a we're going to Disneyland type. Yeah. Thing. What's Disneyland? We can do signings. It's a, it's a, it's like a it's one of the places yeah. in my religion. It's like a heaven. Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh. Sounds like very a, there's peaceful. There's like a rat up there that gives kids kisses or something. No, I was just making that up. I don't know. I just, I just like it'd be a nice place to go to. It's not Cannon Burgers. It's we're. <laughs> the, the, it's Too just late. Like a, Disneyland is canon. <laughs> Disneyland canon. <laughs> Sorry, Joe. Um, <laughs> no, no, it's fine. We need the map by next week. <laughs> we'll be heading there instead of wherever else you had planned. <laughs> what Buck visit. actually said was, "Yeah, I think it would be good if we had like if, if like they asked us where we're going afterwards. Like, yeah, could you mention that as well." Yeah, start a party. Do you think Rama can handle it? He is going to be at the match. We'd be rather rushing him out the door. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I still it'll think be an it's exciting worth jog. Doing. Right. Mm. Okay, so you guys head into the Coliseum then? Yes, mm -hmm. so. Yeah. All right. You head on your way to the Coliseum, and on the path, 
uh, you are once again interrupted. Yet another, oh yet another person oh interrupts you. Uh, oh, tell me it's La Destructora again. An elderly <laughs> minotaur man who seems um... to be chatting up a crowd, sharing some drinks, and notices you and immediately runs up to greet you. Huh? Uh, so my girl has the opportunity to take a smack at the pilgrims of Satya themselves. What a day, what a day this will be. It's nice to meet you. The name is Andrea Vilas. Nice to meet you. And uh, you see a, a, a kind of elderly <laughs> minotaur man Aww. that at closer <laughs> inspection, uh, he's got a bit of spilt drink and crumbs all across his person. But despite this, he's, he's wearing some very high society fashion, a silken jacket that looks mm. brand new, a shoulder cape, fitted slacks. He's dressed for a party with, with like a lord. Mm. A pleasure. I I have an unrelated question really quick. Have we <laughs> seen like a decent amount of poor people around here too? Or you is have, it just kind yes, of a well-off place? A few place? of them kind of strewn about, especially kind of eyeing the the, the gaming corner, um, especially yeah. a lot by the docks. A lot of ones just kind of staying outside the barracks and the sailors uh, Interesting. inns and mm. stuff like that that are not able to pay the toll to come inside as well. Oh, when you take a glance outside the gates uh, as well, you do see a few wanderers and stragglers about. Hmm. Hmm. It is a pleasure. Yes. So your daughter's gonna be kicking our butts? Oh, <laughs> I wouldn't count a, a win on you, my friend. <laughs> She's got you beat. But no worries, you ain't really here to fight anyway, right? <laughs> just the heart. Yeah. So it ain't no shame if you just take a fall immediately so we can get this all over with. <laughs> mm. yeah, I'll even inform yeah, the clerics forward. ahead of time just to give you extra attention. <laughs> How generous. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm just bigger. pulling your leg. Uh, I don't, I didn't mean anything by it. Who knows? Maybe there's even a slight chance you could beat her, but only because she's been spending so much time talking with a scrawny wormkin in some washed up inn instead of training like I keep telling her to. Hmm. But what you gonna do, right? I'm gonna start scowling at him. Do? I'm like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> it is her first decade away. as dragon, and doing something for the first time often means amateur performance, right? <laughs> he gives you a little wink. No offense, of course. <laughs> I'm, I'm, not, I'm slowly taking offense to this guy. <laughs> I can see why you uh, sit and watch instead. You know, age oh! kind of gets to you. No offense, of course. <laughs> get him, get him. You can see like some of the crowd is like, oh, whispering amongst themselves. I'll, I'll applaud you. He just kind of tries to shake it off a little bit and feigns <laughs> a smile. <sighs> well, I guess I look forward to seeing your performance in the match. I'm sure your daughter will impress. Experiencing it. Hmm. Good day, pilgrims. <laughs> Good day, Grandpa. Have a pleasant afternoon. No he takes a step back drama. to let you pass. No, let's Enjoy get some of those bead crumbs on me. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that guy sucks. You didn't like that guy at all. <laughs> no. He was just a nuisance. <laughs> all right. So you guys... Uh, make your way to the actual Colosseum <laughs> properly this time and are given the rundown by a few guards. You're escorted inside. Uh, they tell you kind of where to go, safety procedures, where you can find the healers when the match is over, and where Cecilia will be so that you can get the heart from her after the match. Huh. And um, cool. this is your chance. If you wish, you can like kind of go to the clerks and... Um, registrars if you do wish to get into that uh prize money that um the merchant was talking about however it is going to require a little bit of paperwork so if we well, do the paperwork then we get some of the winnings yep we win? since you are one of the oh, contestants yeah. you are the contestants oh, all right nasty. who wants to do the paperwork it is going not to it. require a role of some kind definitely uh, not it. i'll give it a try i'm sure i filled out paperworks for the docs before okay i'm gonna need you <laughs> yeah. to give me an investigation check Okay. Oh, We're signing do, over our rights. Oh my god. I just roll for investigation, right? We come back yep. in a year and a half and they have t-shirts with our faces on it and we're not making a cent of royalties. Oh man. Okay, you look over the paper. It all looks fairly good. You sign where there needs to be signed and then you go through all of it. A few of it is a little bit confusing to you, but uh, you go through it nonetheless and throughout the process, you finish it up and head it back to the registrar. 
Yay. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Did you, was it just uh, Fritz that signed the papers? Like, do we all have to do it individually? If you would like to help her, you may, and you will yeah. give Fritz advantage. I feel okay. like Buck should probably weigh in on this at least a little bit. <laughs> I'll, I mean, I'm don't have a very good investigation, but I'll, yeah, I'll look Weirdly, at Fritz it. does. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, you may you offer the help action to allow Fritz to roll again. Cool. Yeah, we'll yes. definitely do, do it. If I can, if you wanna. Yeah, whoever. No offense to that yeah, nine, but I think All we right. could do better. I know how to calm okay. people. Fritz, you can roll again if you so wish. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Ooh, no. Yeah. so much Eleven, better. baby. And Fritz, keep in Power mind, you Eleven. also have two inspirations you have to, yet to spend. It's basically oh a reason. Oh, yeah. If you uh... wish, you don't have to. <laughs> Double we need to know what this roll paper is. Three. Three. Roll three. <laughs> roll three. Roll three. Okay, I'll do <laughs> roll three. <laughs> you, you, are you going to use one of your inspirations? It's yes, going to be a I'll four. I'm okay, you may roll mm. one more time. Okay, Whoa. looking over the... We're, we're getting there. As, <laughs> as you are signing it, you look over, you do a third pass on the paper, and you notice there are a few places where you don't technically have to sign, but it's trying yeah. to dupe you into giving some quote-unquote expenses. Uh, <gasps> things that of like, oh, uh insurance and stuff like that when in reality <laughs> the clerics are going to heal you no matter what but oh. mm -hmm. you know these sort of things are like you're signing away at certain expenses to cover things just in case they happen but they're things like uh i don't know like hair insurance and stuff like that <laughs> Oh, I'm what? bald. That's <laughs> like, in case you, two of us don't have any hair. In so case really? some of your some of your fur or hair is chopped off during the thing and like uh, is unable to grow back hair. by some uh, kind of curse, curse insurance, <laughs> uh, curse insurance, yeah, curse it, insurance. It, necromancy insurance to be sure if you die in the arena that you're not raised back to life, things like that. Maybe not raised back to life. <laughs> uh, not raised as a zombified form, rather. Oh, like, you, okay. You revivified. But this basically paying expenses to ensure that you will not be raised so as an undead. Makes it back. Yeah. How I many of these contracts last past death? I don't know about you, I don't but isn't, isn't, isn't health care free? Uh, I'm not looking Nuba Sky. <laughs> All right, who's an American? Raise your hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Where no. I'm from, no. it's free. <laughs> no. Health care is paid for by the Lord of, of Satya, but not a Nuba Sky. Wow. Mm. This place really is a wretched hive. Yeah. <laughs> hey, this is my hometown. I don't take kind of that socialism you got over it. Fuck, oh, <laughs> you left. Oh, yeah, that's right. I like it over there. I, I guess, All uh, right, just let me sign this here. But signing it over, really you yeah, I'll point it out and just not sign those bits. Yeah, gu mm. you guarantee, uh, looking over, you guarantee that you do get a cut of whatever amount of money was bet in your favor. Nice. Huh. Mm-hmm. So but not, not if we lose. So not yeah, like <laughs> a couple pennies maybe. Well, that'll depend right. on who wins. Hmm. True. Anyway, guys, we really have to win. After all that is done, <laughs> you step into the Colosseum and are given uh, step into kind of your your waiting room. Uh, and once you're all ready, they escort you to the arena. A wide open circular field of dirt and sand and a few broken down pillars and crowds all around the outside cheering you as you egg it, exit out into the bright Biscayan sun that shines mm -hmm. on you like a spotlight. Let me pause this. Oh boy. Let's bring you to pigeon hopping the like map my way in. <laughs> in your outfit. And I presume you have told the registrars and people like that about your new title and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Just, no. just so I know it in full. Also, you can scroll down and mm -hmm. see your you guys at the very bottom. Yeah, and oh, orient yourselves where you so wish. Yeah, just like the ashes well, and yeah, rise like a phoenix. <laughs> so, uh, what are the full titles? Is it um, think, God, like should be like God King Word, God King His Word, Acolyte, and, and the Phoenix? Just, no, it's it's the Acolyte. It's the Acolyte, the Acolyte and mm -hmm. the Phoenix. Is that it? Yeah, you know, I'm important and enough Lyra. to have the and Lyra. in my name. And, and Lyra. And Lyra. Man Spider, that's, that name stinks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, you guys also see on the other side of the arena, Cecilia oh. exit with uh, three other gladiators by her side as well. Oh, boy. And to her, to her exit uh, entrance into the arena, a roaring audience, twice the volume that you got, 
And a few seconds later, a thaumaturgied voice echoes uh, throughout the entire Coliseum. People of Noob Sky, welcome <laughs> to the Coliseum! Today we have for you the fight of a decade! In the Northern Gates, our great protector with cannons for arms and a dragon's heart, the Bull of Nuba Sky, Cecilia the Great! Woo! <laughs> Yay! <Yeah. laughs> no, we're ADRing the crowded post. <laughs> the Southern Gates, a motley team of adventurers, strangers from across the sea, but champions of their own town. Word, the god, king, ruler of everything, and master combatant, the acolyte, the phoenix, and Lyra. <laughs> 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 yeah, Lay Relic. Like, turn off the echo. <laughs> 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 the Just stone faced. Pilgrims of Satya! Oh, I'm cheering for myself very loudly. Yippee. This Wait. fight will be a simple elimination match. The two teams of four are tasked with knocking out each and every one of their opponents, and the team with the last member standing wins. With that in mind, I do think we are all ready to begin. And the crowd actually is just kind of booing. Oh, no, war! What? Oh, what am I saying? This arena is not fit for a battle of this magnitude. How about we heat things up? Uh-oh. Uh -huh. What? And at this, the Except whole the arena Phoenix. starts to shake. The sand shifts at your feet, raising pillars and revealing burning hot coals all around. Uh, what? Oh, oh my. It's like that scene in the Bionicles movie. Oh, oh my god. Glad Why I does Bionicle keep following me everywhere I go? <laughs> Put the Bionicles counter at one, and you are revealed to been the zero true days. arena in which you will fight the bull of Nuba Sky. Oh, oh my goodness. Miss no. Scoozy, sir? <laughs> this I'm is so exciting. Happy I'm in this game. Are those fences? Oh no. <laughs> it is a cage match. Oh. Those well, are cage dang. fences. I see. <laughs> so, uh, on theme. the hot coals are normal terrain that you can walk on. However, if you start your turn on it, you will have to make a dexterity saving throw DC uh, 10 or take mm. 1d4 fire damage. So running across them is fine, but staying on them at the end of the turn is risky? Yes. As okay. for the uh, cages, uh, the cage walls, uh, projectiles such as arrows, spells and such can move through them, but bodies cannot. <laughs> Mm. For right. for you fleshy beings, they are walls. And these like these are pillars that are up in the air, and these are yes, like, these pillars these pillars are thirty feet up. Oh boy! Okay. And these okay. uh, these wooden kind of planks uh, are pads that can lead directly up to them, so that you can, don't have to climb them. The ones that are attached, so they are diagonal. Okay. Cool. As the arena reveals itself, the announcer continues, Gladiators, are you ready? Oh, yeah. Yes. Then <laughs> fight! And oh, I boy. am going to need everyone to roll initiative. Woo! All right, first round, word. I'm going to like kind of slowly saunter forward. Um, I'm just going to use like a normal movement speed to stand over here and just smugly stare at my opponents. <laughs> Boy, okay. The crowd watches intently <laughs> as you stare down your opponents. I challenge you. And I point at the guy with the sword. <laughs> <laughs> the sword, you can see that it is a spell sword of some kind. Uh, he, oh, no. He's dressed in like <laughs> kind of wizardy garb and he's looking around and just kind of points to himself, me. Yeah. Little old me. Come fight God. Oh my God. Come fight God. <laughs> he shrugs his shoulders. What? I'm gonna die. I, I, you know, I was really expecting more pageantry from the guy on the on Cecilia's side. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even know why he's here. Yeah, yeah Cecilia doesn't like, want to oh. be outshined. Oh, you know what? That's actually a fair point. Is that anything else you want to do, or, or is that it? You know what? Yeah, I, I have a short bow. I think I can just shoot him. How far away are they? Uh, let's see. Oh, it's a ways. Uh, it's like a hundred feet. Like to fight you. Okay. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll ready my bow and just wait for that, that fool to march at me. <laughs> that fool. That idiot. <laughs> that peon. Yeah. The knave. 
All right. So uh, when he gets within range, which is what, 120 feet? Uh, I think it's 80. 80? Okay. Because it's a short bow. I think it's 90, uh, it, actually. It's 80, 320. Never mind. I, got it I was here. wrong. Okay. Weird it's 80, 320. So that means you can of, shoot them. It's it would just, just be yeah. at disadvantage. You're not an optimal yeah, range. So I've got no reason like to not wait. Okay. So just whenever anyone, I, whenever he comes within range, okay. I challenged him. All right. <laughs> Next will be Buck. Uh, I'll use... Uh, tw- uh, I'll use 25 feet of movement to come stand by word, and I'll say, um, What do you command me, <laughs> almighty one? I am the acolyte. <laughs> Protect me from my enemies and give me strength against them oh, with your faith. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll, uh, I know... It's technically not fair, but if I could do like prestidigitation to make my arrow like glow <laughs> godly light for a second. You know what? Rule of cool, I'll allow it. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> it's not like using prestidigitation um, is yeah, go ahead. Yeah, that's not gonna help me. I guess I will go and stand at the uh I got twenty five feet, so I have fifteen more, so I guess I'll stand here. Mm-hmm. And like to gu- like guard and 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 get ready because I don't know what they're capable of, but I'll uh, I'm not really doing anything, but I think it's worth it for the uh, uh, to listen to my God. Mm-hmm. Um, I will stay there and maybe just hold my action to hit someone if they come within swinging distance. All right, which for me is ten feet. But Lyra, your turn. Yes. Uh. Jeez, everything I have is a little bit out of range. Um, But I am going to move forward a little bit because, you know, why not? Um, And I'm going to cast Summon Beast. Ah. That's a good one. Yeah. What beast shall you summon? Yeah, uh, for something like this, I feel like... Flyby attack is better than um, uh, than pack tactics. Uh, I just don't feel like we're going to be doing much flanking in this fight. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's going to take the form of like a, a like Phoenix. a small falcon. Um, okay. Yeah. All right. I don't have a specific token for this, so <laughs> instead I will give you a an Aracocra token. Oh, sweet! Because <laughs> it looks like a bird. And uh, I'll give bird. you control over it. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, its speed is only oh 60 feet of fly speed. That's Whoa. actually not bad. Uh, not bad. But it still can't reach anything, so I will. Uh, I'll, I'll keep it near me for now. Okay. Um, you don't want it to die instantly. <laughs> oh, it's got a lot of hit points. Yeah, but it is concentration. So if I get Ooh. hit too bad, it'll yeah. just futz out. But then I can cast my other concentration spell. So. All right. Um, Lots of yeah. preparing. Mm-hmm. Fritz, your turn. Okay. I think so. I'm going to use all of my full movement to move up. Mm hmm. And that puts me within. Ah! Uh. Deciding who. I would like to fire my crossbow at the fellow archer. Is it within the first range? What's what's your range on your crossbow? 150. Oh, sweet. 150, and then what's the secondary one? Uh, like 300 something? There should be two. Do... Oh, 600 then. I thought that was the <laughs> Okay, yeah. Ammo. All right, then that is, that is optimal range. You will not be suffering any penalties. All right, you're going to fire at the archer then. Get him. Nice! You fire at the archer, and the crowd cheers. First blood has been spilled. Let's go. <laughs> oh, and a Add shot to... from the phoenix! <laughs> Ooh. Yes. Yeah, Very cool. Turn. Lands. All right. Nice. Next is Cecilia and her team, and she kind of grunts a command at them. Uh, kind of gruffly, and the archer is going to immediately take cover. Actually, ah. they're going to fire a shot right back at you, Fritz. Ooh. You rude. Ooh, and it does hit. Okay. There's a column in the way. Is there? 
Yeah. Oh, then you're gonna have cover. Never mind. It doesn't hit. That was enough. Um, that was enough <laughs> of a cover to be able to. Oh, yep. but doesn't Good. that mean that mine doesn't hit too? Or is... I presume that you would have <laughs> like angled. I did like, get a twenty. Yeah. yeah. You could have. You could have <laughs> yeah. sidestepped. Yeah. Should be arguing. I'll, I'll yeah. give you. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Um. You're the best. Joe. Oh, sick! I don't get hit. Let's go. Even yeah. even if I did oh. apply the same cover thing, their AC is 14, and yeah. that would have minus think... minus your uh, 20 to an 18, and you would have still hit. Yeah. That's how that's Someone how I'm doing cover works. That your crossbow does fire damage. Oh, that's right. You uh, right because you got it, the right? little rock thingy. Mm. So. Oh, I've completely forgot. Uh, thank you for reminding <laughs> me. That's a 1d6. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that was that was chat. Hey, hey, no looking at chat. Hey, no looking at I chat. We gotta be you. focused. Yeah, I asked you to close the chat. <laughs> yes. Thank you. But thank you though. Um, yeah, thanks, chat. But don't do that again. I f completely forgot. But uh, yeah, so that's an additional three fire damage. But um, yeah, uh, he's gonna fire at you, but he's gonna miss, and it's gonna ping nice. off the pillar due to the extra bonus AC from it being cover. So he is going to take full cover behind the pillar right here. Cecilia is going to just start to stomping her way over to you. Just run, 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 run. She's going to dash and run, 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 run. Some more. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my Boy. God. She's fast. And Charging? she is. You also see her cast something on her that is very easy to recognize. Long Strider. So... Hmm. Oh, she's making it over. <laughs> she is running her way all the way. Like, ooh. Just. Poof, 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 poof. Stomp, stomp, stomp <laughs> through the hot coals all the way up here. Can I hit her with my long reach? With my you reach? can. She <laughs> is within going, reach. Yeah, bear arms. Ah, let's go. <laughs> Your reaction yeah, springs. Uh, hold on, let me. Why can I not? Uh, here we go. Ah. Ooh, you go to slam your hammer, and she just like catches it with her hand right on its oh. head, just like with one arm. And she just like has a big old sly smile at you. <laughs> Hello, strong one. And the axe wielder is gonna try and catch up to her. He's gonna <laughs> dash as well, but not make it make it nearly as far. So over here, and the spell sword is going to cast. Uh, Misty Step. Ah. Uh, blink his way over here. Phew. And then he's going to run the rest of the way behind this pillar. Uh, he, he would be within range when he got over here. So ah, can yes, you can. Running? While he was running, when he was about over here, okay. you can fire your short bow. Thank you. Let us shoot. Oh, yes, that's okay. Hey. Noise. Fired away. Uh, I don't get a sneak attack. So, yeah, that is nine piercing damage. Mm -hmm. All right, yes, and it lodges into his shoulder. The crowd cheers as another shot is landed. And a good shot from the God King himself. <laughs> and he's going to take. No one escapes. Mm -hmm. Cover. And, uh, yep, all right. Next word, your proper turn. Oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> uh, let's go beat him up some more. Um, how far can I go? Wait, am I at 25? Oh no, we're 30, cool. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I will use my rogue bonus action dash mm -hmm. to get right over here. Um. And I think I'm going to huck some negotiation at him. Oh. Because uh, I'm within 20 feet, so I'm throwing my magic plus one, plus one D4 fire dagger. And wow. I forgot you named your weapon the negotiation. It is going to miss, and it ting, 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 lands Shoot. Uh, over here. Oh, no. We don't have the magic retrieval daggers. <laughs> oh, no. We if, don't if have our negotiation. Get, if, <laughs> if you could just hand me to that, that'd be wonderful. Dang it. Negotiation's <laughs> broken <laughs> down. <laughs> Negotiation has failed. <laughs> Some of the crowd just like, oh, and a few laughs ring out. Mm. At least the announcer is nice to me. That'll be my thing. <laughs> Next, Buck. I will not fear, for I have the faith of my god. 
Boy, no. Harry. I want to come. I want to come over here so I can like get on this side of the fence. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I would like to reach to the belt and pull out a card, <laughs> and I will bonus action rage. Let's see what I get. Whoa! Oh hell Ooh. yeah! Whoa! Uh, Nice. Ooh, constitution uh, so saving throw or take. Oh, geez. Wow. I think you guys yeah. might be in the range for that. Yeah. But it's oh, of your no. choice. Uh, each creature of, oh, your of your choice. So you can oh, see okay, within 30 okay. feet of you. <gasps> is he within 30 feet? He is. Yeah. Wow. It's going to be a rough End day for Axe, man. <laughs> Literally horror, like horrifying <laughs> shadow tendrils like reach out of bug. <laughs> for I have the faith <laughs> of my god. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea that this, this power is granted to you by me. <laughs> <laughs> Word. This takes his next level in Warlock Patron, actually. Uh, my yeah. dear. <laughs> my DC is 12. 12, uh, right. So, so. Oh, Wait, nothing. you also get temporary yeah, hit points, bro. This yeah, you get the 10 hit points. That's a good one. If I hit them, though. Okay. I think I have to hit them, though. What? Okay, so. Uh, no, you just gain the hit points. Uh, yeah, you gain the hit points anyway. Oh, you I just get hit gain points it, anyway. Yeah, no matter what. Oh, no. Cool, 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 cool. So roll the hit points and roll the uh, damage die. Uh, Sure. Is it one for each one? Yeah. Or? Yeah. Okay. Uh, The first one will be for damage. Mm -hmm. Four. Okay, four damage, and the next one will be for uh, temp HP. Woo! Wow, Spicy! Right. Okay, so it lashes out. Cecilia is going to make the save as she just, like, chest bumps the the, te the tendrils, <laughs> just like, boosh, as it just bounces <laughs> off of her chest. However, it is going to lash out and hit the axe bearer a little bit. Nice. Um, and then, uh, given that, I would like to reckless attack. Ah. I think I can just, uh, like, declare reckless, right? I don't have yeah. to. Okay, and then is it shift to attack with big boy? Yep. I should have done it. Uh, yep, that 22 is going to hit. Yes, uh, you smack, and she goes to try and, like, kind of brace herself it, with it, but you just hit it, like, her arms that are bracing in like an X fashion, it hits her, but she like sinks a little bit. And that's gonna be 14 total, cause I don't have, I don't know how to add rage damage, but because I'm raging, it's gonna mm. do 14 total 14. bludgeoning. Okay, awesome. And then because I have the crusher ability, um, because once per turn I hit her with an attack that deals bludgeoning damage, I would like to move her five feet into an unoccupied space, specifically ah, yeah. the coals. Yeah. Right. Turn, turn. Boosh, into Spice. the hot coals. <laughs> Which she is going to take. Spicy she's going to have to make a saving throw or take da and take damage next uh, on her turn. Well done. And that will be 10, my. Uh, actually, yeah, that'll be my turn. I'll, I'll end there. Okay, awesome. And as you do all of this, you can see the crowd just like erupts in a roaring cheer whenever the tendrils come out, and you bash Cecilia, and the announcer. Whoa! What are they feeding them in Satya? <laughs> Fish. Free healthcare. <laughs> and in my mind, I picked up a chair. I picked up a chair and I did that to her with it, rather than. <laughs> oh shit! I... The chair. Give him the chair. Uh, oh, authors, you didn't have chairs placed no... around. Wait, the... wait, 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 wait! No, there's. Mm. Hold on, there's still time. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. What's happening? Hold on. Wait. Well, last time we did specify yeah. chairs, Joe's, more Joe's tables. Exactly there it is. It's uh, yeah. a chair. Uh, it's a chair. 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 Give me the chair. I, I knew I, I was forgetting something on this map. I was like, I made some assets, tables didn't and I? <laughs> <laughs> had I had known, <laughs> I would have used now, the too. chair. Uh, well, thank Red goodness con. we kept Red our con. dignity. Retcon, I used the chair. You used the chair. <laughs> the cannon burger thing is that I used the chair. There we go. <laughs> retcon, retcon, chairs everywhere, tables. Tables, <laughs> chairs, tables, we erupted tables. with the... the whole of everything moving it just delayed a little bit yeah 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 wow there they are <laughs> this was canon the whole time listen <laughs> give me the yes. benefit of the doubt i had this planned i just forgot about it <laughs> secretly right. one of these chairs is a mimic this <laughs> rules <laughs> this, this <laughs> rules Layra. yep all right uh well first things first my bird friend Yes. Uh, yes. Who has a movement of 60 feet. No, no, the other bird friend. My, my temporary <laughs> bird friend, as opposed to my permanent bird friend, uh, is going to use their 60 feet of movement to fly up and past this guy. Because if I do a flyby attack, I don't provoke an attack of opportunity. Oh. Um, mm. Tee hee hee. Uh, mm. Yeah, so uh, the melee weapon attack uh, is just my spell attack modifier to hit. Won't reach okay. only five feet, so I'll just... Uh, D20 plus your spell mod plus proficiency. Nice. 
Yep, Did that'll it hit. hit. Oh, yep. dang, that's not bad. Your bird uh, takes a claw in digging into the axe bearer. Which is 1d8 plus 4 plus the spell's level, so 2. So 1d8 plus 6 piercing damage. Still very Ooh. nice hit nonetheless Minimum. as it pierces into his shoulder, cutting him up a right. bit. So that's actually that's 7 total spell. because of the uh, plus 2 from the spell's level. Ah, good. Okay, um, keep that in mind. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that was the bird. And I could just do that. That was its... because. I'm still holding concentration, obviously. Uh, I'm going to... Let's see. Hold on, sorry. Let me just look at the uh, specifics of this other thing I want to do. Um, great. I don't need to be seeing it. Uh, I would like to put an entangle... Uh, where does it let me draw? Okay, here we go. Here. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, all right. What's the so let me just, save uh, again? Yeah. Let's see. Is Entangle also concentration? Uh, no. Oh, wh- oh no, is it? Oh, no, it is. I'm oh, so sorry. It is. You can't mm. cast some- one Beans. unless you want to dismiss mind. your bird. No, the bird just got here. All Let's right. not do that. Sorry, bird. sorry. Bird. Everyone forget that. Get rid of the The bird thingy. is really strong, too. <gasps> okay. Uh, in that oh, case, I would like to do a different spell that isn't concentration, I would like to cast Frostbite, which is a cantrip, mm-hmm. uh, on Cecilia. Ah, all right, Frostbite. Well, Wow, that'll <laughs> really help. But uh, <laughs> it does actually, uh, if she fails her, her th- if she fails her DC uh, 13 constitution save, which is technically possible, uh, mm-hmm. she has disadvantage on the next weapon attack roll she makes before the end of her next turn. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, she does not. She makes the save, as that is All a right. pretty easy one for her. Great. Then I don't think that does anything. <laughs> oh, well, I tried. She avoided uh, the, the devastating one damage. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, okay, well, that was my... Eh, I'll move a little okay, bit. Frostbite. It's better vicious mockery. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I can't just keep doing the... it until it works eventually. <laughs> um, it's one of the top five spells, I think, in the video. I oh. Time ago. oh, really? It's That's cool. One. Yeah. All right, well, I'm just going to move over here. Uh, yeah, so I already have a spell I'm holding concentration on. I already cast a spell. Um, actually, I'm going to bonus action shift uh, into my uh, swift stride form so I get more uh, movement and six temp HP. Very nice. Cool. The beast is not uh, your action, is it? It's not like a bonus action or anything? No, I, it, it acts on its own, and it if I don't give it commands, cool. it does its own oh, thing. Cool, cool, cool. Um, it just takes the dodge action if I if I. Uh, I thought so. All right. Mm. Yep. It's like an undead. I All right, think that's you correct. Shift. All right. Wonderful. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Obeys your verbal commands. No action required by you. So it just mm. does its own thing. Good. Awesome. Um, okay. Yeah, awesome. Fun. So yeah, that was my movement action, bonus action, holding concentration. We're good. All right, Fritz. Well your turn. All right. Once again, gonna use my full movement to let me double check, make sure I'm going thirty. Um, all right, I'm going to move, so I have a little bit of the cover, and I am going to use my bonus action for Hail of Thorns, and who do I Ooh. wish to condemn? <laughs> All right. You know what, Cecilia? I'm ready Get to put it. on a good show. I'm going to <laughs> crossbow Cecilia with Hail of Thorns, so... Okay, so you Thank just, for just uh, extra bonus damage to your shot then. Yep. Um, All right. On let's... top of my fire shot. Your attack, yes. If All right, yeah, that, that'll hit. Ooh. All right. All right, so roll. It was 1d6, right? Yep, 1d6. Okay. All right, another shot rings out as some thorns kind of spru- spring out from your bolt, kind of latching <laughs> onto her and catching on fire as well. And the crowd erupts in cheers. Oh, it's looking like it's getting too hot for the dragon. Hmm. Pain, does she block it? So, no, when she, she actually fails the Hail of Thorns okay. and uh, gets hit with those thorns. Yep. That's when I, c- I rolled now for it, right? And it is going mm-hmm. to hit the chair, so the chair <laughs> falls no! apart. No! No! Condemned. That, uh, I think that's everything for you, Fritz, right? Yes. Your movement, your bo- for, uh, action, and bonus action. All right. <laughs> Cecilia is going to see if she takes fire damage. She does. Let's see how much fire damage she oh, takes. Oh, nice. What is she with me and setting 10? dragons on fire? <laughs> she did fail with DC 10. 
Wow. And she, you can see, she's just like, ah, 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 as she, her kind of bare feet are on the hot coals. And she <laughs> Minecraft just damage. Bare hooves. looks to you, Buck. All right, you want to play? Let's play. And oh, she boy. is going to come over here out of the hot coals and is going to try and shoulder bash you against the wall. She gets advantage if it's She does, attack. because mm. you're a reckless attack. I did do that. And <laughs> she is going to hit as you are pinned mm -hmm. against the wall, just and I'm going to need you to make a strength uh, saving throw. Cap it on. Strength, strength saving throw. Oh, do I get plus? Because I don't want to get something because I'm raging. Do I get For strength saves, I think you get advantage. I get, adva I get advantage on strength. Uh, strength checks and saving throws. You get advantage okay, on strength. Okay, then yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right, yes, she, nice. she pushes you against the wall. Uh, uh, and you are going to take eight bludgeoning damage. Is that halved or not? It is not halved. That is the attack, but the attack was going to push you against the wall, the effect of which you have avoided. Uh, so so, th so that halves to four because he's raging. Oh, wait, that's right. You have right, resistance right, right. That's, as well. I forget about I'm that. Raging. Yes, so yeah, you only take four bludgeoning damage instead. Nice. nice. Does the shove feel in any way romantic? No, not at all. Uh, Aww. This doesn't feel romantic. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't what I wanted. Thanks for clarifying that, oh, Buck. Don't worry. I'm very she's not on, to... and she's going to oh. take a second attack with both oh, of her no. fists punching forward. <laughs> oh, no. Keep the faith, my acolyte. <laughs> and that one is also going to hit, yeah. and you're going to take face. another eight, i.e. four damage. Nice. And she's going to do a flurry of blows. Um, okay. Is that four damage reduced or? Uh, four damage is the reduced amount. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, just like a one-two punch, poof, poof, as you are going to take an additional seven, i.e., three damage. Okay, I'm currently at my max HP. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, your temp hit points gone then. Mm. Yeah, my temp hit points. <laughs> All right. Next, the axe bearer is going to come close as well. And try and lay yeah, into you. Yeah, let's. He gets advantage. He most certainly does. Okay. <laughs> he brings his axe down and does get a few nicks in on you as these two uh. are just ganging up on you like a JoJo meme. <laughs> and you're going to no. take. Oh, oh no, no. You're going to take. <laughs> I know that meme. An additional 10, i.e., 5 damage. Oh, okay. There's a big old Jeez. chop. And the spell sword over here, by word, he is going to come up closer to you, and he stabs his sword into the ground and erupts a large thunderous wave. He is going to cast Thunder Wave. You need to make a constitution hey. saving throw. Oh, boy. I thought I commanded you to get my dagger. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you are going to take six thunder damage and be pushed ten Woo. feet into the hot coals. Ah. Okay. On your turn, you'll have to make bummer. a dexterity saving throw. Mm-hmm. And Which the crowd is erupting and cheering for blood as the announcer cries out, Ah, oh, but a good retaliation from Nuba Sky's own! Peon! <laughs> <laughs> and the archer is going to come out of cover once again to shoot another pop shot. Let's see, at whoever Ooh. is available, i.e. Not Buck, he's going to have to move a little bit out more. <laughs> And aim at Fritz once again, continuing to have this archer battle. God, you guys are so rude. So far away. <laughs> this one's going to miss, however. But Ooh. he's going to lose. He's going to get a little bit closer right over here behind this pillar, but not step in the hot coals. Mm -hmm. mm. Next. Word. Make me a deck save. Oh, no. It's a good thing I have a plus five. Hey, I beat it by one. You beat yeah. it by one. <laughs> You're not going to take any damage. That's some neat trick. And I'll um, run at him. And while I do, I will use my... Oops, I disappeared. I oh, no. Ah. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> personnel, kid. <laughs> <laughs> I now leave the match. Um, while I'm running at I him, I'll use my primary damage. attack to throw a dagger. And then as I'm throwing the dagger in my offhand, I'll bring out a short sword for a follow-up attack. Ooh. All right. Okay. The dagger, unfortunately, is not going to hit the first one. Okay. 
And then this one is rolled, I guess, with a negative five because I don't get to add proficiency. Ooh, very nice. The Wait, first still one, a crit, though. The yeah. first one is parried Hell by yeah. the sword. Oh. However, the second one, you're able to catch him off guard. Is on his offhand. He does not have anything, and you catch him. Just shoo, mm-hmm. a nice little cut across the side. Perfect. Oh, and he is starting to look a little bit roughed up. Hmm. How does it feel to meet God? What? Uh, uh, <laughs> you're smaller than I expected. <laughs> you're doing great, by the way. Oh, oh you too. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm not great at this whole presentation thing. <laughs> oh, thank God. That's all right. You won't be here for much longer. <laughs> <laughs> he Lord. just cocks one eyebrow. I don't That's... know how to take that. <laughs> That's my turn. All right. Okay, and also, Word, if you could add yourself back into the initiative. Um... And oh, I'm sorry. Return yeah. your uh, initiative number to 23. Also, it's Buck's turn, not me. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, it seemed to shift the initiative sorry. around a bit for some reason. Oh, oh I'm sorry. My That's gosh, okay. Word. Buck, your turn. I'm not really feeling the faith as much. <laughs> I, uh, I am, I'm not here to deal with you, peon. And then I'll, I'll hit the guy with the, I want to hit this guy oh. here, the, uh. You? Try and hit him. I'm I'm not going to use my reckless attack because I have both of them here by me, <laughs> and I don't need to be taking full uh, advantage. But I'll try and hit him with this. Thirteen? Does that? Oh, uh, thirteen is not going to hit. Sadly, Aww. you go to this swing guy? and parry. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Well, uh, I still have my movement because I have the mobile feet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So can I like? I think I can get all the way up here if, if this is like there. Can I get all the way up here? Uh, on the tower, on the top of the pillar. Yeah, you most certainly can. I got forty feet. I got forty feet of movement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you are going to take, take two attacks of attack. opportunity though. Yeah. Uh, no, because I have the mobile feet. Oh, Ooh. never mind. The mobile feet. Uh, just does like a sick combat roll. Uh, and I can read it, but I think it. I think I get when you make a melee attack, whether you hit it or not, you don't provoke opportunity attacks. Ah, sick. Oh, nice. All right, awesome. Then yeah, you you try to move out of the way and the other two are taking swings and pop shots at you, but they're not able to land a blow as you dance between their swings, moving up towards the top of the pillar and the crowd cheers as you dodge each and every single attack like a like a quarterback dodging tackles. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. Be. Is that everything? Uh yeah, that's that's going to be my turn. Lay around. Nice. Yes, uh, I would like to, uh, <laughs> I'd like to cast Thorn Whip on the Axe Guy. Thorn Whip on the Axe Guy, all right. Show because me if it's whip. six, yes. Oh. It's not going to hit, sorry. I know. Yep. Uh, it wraps around the axe and he just chops it down. Dang it, it would have been great if he got pulled towards me. <laughs> um, uh, whatever. Um, okay, well, casting that was my action. <laughs> but he wasn't expecting my bird friend. Uh, so I would like my bird friend to, Boomerang. my other bird friend to do yet another flyby attack. Another flyby <laughs> you know, attack. All just right. Shoo. Uh, yep. And uh, so let me just Things roll for that thing. <laughs> Honestly, as long as I can keep the bird friend up, uh, I think we'll be think just, just fine. fine. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's see. It's just my spell, spell attack. attack. That is oh. going to hit. Another flyby, <laughs> another claw. Let me see the damage. What a menace. Uh, yeah, so it's going to be this plus two. Ooh, yes, so another nine. claw, and this guy is looking pretty roughed up. Really? <laughs> just from the bird? Mm, this just is incredible. From the bird. Well, uh, I've got no complaints to just keeping the bird up. Is there, hold on, is there something else I can do? Just a sec. Um, yeah, uh, yes. Hold on, what's the range on that? Just a second, sorry. All good. Oh, wait, hold on, Buck, you, you only lost temp HP, right? Uh, no, now I have officially lost a regular HP. Okay, then I'm going to bonus action, bomb of the summer court, buck. So you get back two. Two whole hit points. Heck yeah. I think he's within range. Dang it, I was looking for that, and then I just fully wasn't paying attention. Yeah, so 120 feet. We're fine. Um, so just a little ping. Uh, so that was my action, my uh, bonus action. Uh, I haven't moved because I haven't needed to, so we're good. <laughs> That's it. All right, Fritz, turn. All right, I'm going to 
move over to here. And I'm going to use my action to cast Gust of Wind. Mm. Mm. Which is this, because we haven't set up the thingy yet. Hold on. Sorry. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I have it here ready to copy and paste for this exact reason. <laughs> da, da, nice. Da. Okay. 60 feet long. Where are you aiming it at? I am aiming it at Cecilia and this axe guy. So they both mm. should get hit. You're trying to you push, push them me? towards the fire? I'm trying to push them towards the pillar. The pillar? Yes. Uh, like where Buck is? Yeah, I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to slam them into it. Not oh, mm. slam them into it. They're on the ramp. Oh, yeah. Man. So they're. Mm. Buck, do you want them closer? <laughs> uh, uh, yes, I do. I will. Is fight Buck going to be affected? <laughs> Uh, it shouldn't be because he's high the up. So <laughs> you you only... push me off oh. of the pillar. <laughs> it's only, oh, no. It shouldn't go that high. I well, it depends where it long, starts. Uh, 60 feet long. So if you start here, it's going to... 60 feet is a lot like that. It's measuring from me for some uh, reason, but yes. Yeah, could... yeah that's me. That's, oh, wait. Uh, from you. Okay. Oh, there you go. I could aim that's it good. slightly to the side. <laughs> now, it does Just have to be 10 to feet wide, so it either has to go left or right. Oh, no. You could probably just hit the dragon yeah, a little bit. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I don't know if that'll do anything. Could I aim it like this way? It's better than knocking I guess you could. the table. Um, knocking the acolyte down. Yeah, you could, and then like this way. Yeah, I think that's a way that you can aim it so that it doesn't hit Buck. Okay, um, Cecilia is not going to get pushed. Uh, the axe bearer, though, is going to get pushed. Rough day for into that guy. The chair. the chair breaks, the crowd cheers. For <laughs> property damage. Yeah! <laughs> Violence! The poor carpenter that made that. <laughs> oh, that guy's rolling in it. <laughs> Wait, what, what happened to this chair? Oh, uh, uh, it got wrecked at some point. I once broke got that one too. Pushed in. Oh, no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hail of thorns, mate of. And you know what? I'll, I'll do a improvised minutes. weapon damage for the chair. He takes one <laughs> bludgeoning nice, damage. Nice. Perfect. Yay! Splinters, he's got boo boos now. Oh, no. All right, wonderful. Anything else? I'm just double checking something. Uh, uh, okay. I am good, I think, actually. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. The announcer cries out In a twist turn of events, the phoenix hits a chair with a man! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this announcer. And so you can see uh, the axe bearer is looking pretty roughed up. He's reaching out a hand to Cecilia. And Cecilia, she gets ready to cast. You recognize it. It looks like cure wounds. But she looks a little bit um, concerned. She's looking out in the crowd, eyes darting, and she casts it on herself. <gasps> and then she runs up to meet you, Buck, and is going to take a few punches at you. Oh, this is some real Duel of the Fates stuff right here. Yeah. And you can see the axe bearer looks a little bit hurt by this. And he just tries to get up, and he's going to get ready for his attack later after Cecilia. Emotional damage. Okay. The worst kind. First, she takes her two fists up in the air and slams it down, hitting you right on the head, Buck. You're going to take... Ooh. Bonk. Nine, i.e. four reduced bludgeoning damage. Okay. And she is also going to try and shove you off the, pl ah. the pillar. So I'm going to need you to make a strength saving throw. <laughs> At advantage, <laughs> since you are. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh. So if you can believe it, she rolled a 25. <laughs> From the top rope. From the top rope, she pushes you <laughs> off onto the table. <laughs> It smashes oh, into bits. With God is my witness. <laughs> he see. is broken in half. 30 feet you're going to take. <laughs> oh my God. Four. That is the reduced amount. You would have taken eight, but now it's reduced to four. Bludgeoning okay. damage. Okay. And the table breaks, so improvised oh weapon damage. One, oh so you don't take an extra bonus. And the chair okay. breaks, the crowd cheers. Cecilia pumps two fists up in the air. Mm. <laughs> and the axe bearer uh, instead is going to 
try he's going to try and move into a more advantageous position over here and he's going to take the dodge action uh-huh mm. that won't save you from my little friend <laughs> <laughs> the spell sword bird hates you. the spell sword right here is going to uh simply pick up his sword and try and do another thunder wave con save word rude oh boy can this one be better, please? Oh, <laughs> no. Once again, the you're knocked into the fire. <laughs> <laughs> and you take... Good. Six thunder damage. <laughs> Less good. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to circle around this pillar to try and get away f- the hecky away from you. <laughs> Onto this little wooden platform. The archer is going to move up closer. Right over here. And is going to take a shot at you, Buck. Oh, come on. Hasn't he had enough? Am, am I prone right now? Actually, yes, you are prone. So he's going to have disadvantage on the attack. Oh, that's nice. Since uh, hitting a, a prone target from range is harder. And a, sh- a f- shot and a miss. Okay. I think that's them. All right, word. You're once again in the fire. Deck save. <laughs> DC Uh-oh. 10. Okay. Phew. All right. Succeeds. I'm rolling damage low once again. on saves. Uh, Word lets out a, a very emotional scream cry. Like, oh. my acolyte, no! <laughs> and, um, how far can I go? It's gonna oh, be... my, my god! <laughs> so, <laughs> he comes to save me! I, I have you, my child. <laughs> uh, and oh. I run over here, and I go below the little ramp, and as, so I'm using my bonus action to dash, oh, okay. and every time I use a move action, I can interact with an object. So, uh, as the first movement, I'm going to uncork my potion of healing, mm-hmm. and my second movement, I'm going to throw it <laughs> toward Buck. <laughs> Just like and it's as my as my actual action, I'm going to cast Mage Hand, which will then catch the bottle and pour it into Buck's All right, Whoa. wonderful. Two D four plus Layers. two for that slick move. Okay. <laughs> Nothing stops those who follow the God King word. I don't have another one of those though. <laughs> so, uh, Truly, friendship is the greatest magic of all. <laughs> when you do... No, nah, it's godly faith. When you do the <laughs> slick roll, maneuver... Roll 2d4? Uh, yeah, 2d4 plus 2. That's a healing potion, right? Me or... Me or uh, Either one. Or... It doesn't matter. Oh, uh, you're you're consuming it, I guess. So right. you go Whoa, forward. that's not great. At the slick maneuver, the crowd is like, whoa, as like the, the potion <laughs> is flying through the air, and then when it's caught by the mage hand, oh, claps. <laughs> I can keep that thing. It's not even concentration. <laughs> I can use an action to pickpocket sometimes. <laughs> uh, that, that's my turn, though. All right. Buck. Uh, with newfound strength, <laughs> I would like to... The uh, acolyte uh, return. I, I would like to get... Uh, I would like to, like, get up um, <laughs> off, like, off the ground, like, now uh, enraged with the power of my god. And can I, like, just rip off my robe so I'm just like shirtless. <laughs> yes. So, you Can you still have like a mask though? And I still have the I have the mask on. So I have the mask and I have the little uh the uh the soft sands what's the name of it? Yeah name? the soft sands handkerchief. I have or the soft the, sands uh, handkerchief. Soft shores, soft shores. Soft shores, soft shores. Um and I will use I think I have to use my act because I'm gonna uh use uh, for 20 feet to get here and then I'll use the rest of my I wanna get up uh, uh I don't think I have an action because I use my uh, my action to dash, so I can get up there. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I want to be face to face with Cecilia for round for round two. Okay, you <laughs> you rip off that that robe um, and just like you hear a bunch of people woo, just like a bunch <laughs> of whistles. You see, a I want to I want to I want to add that Buck, um, although like he's like obviously like very clearly very hairy, has lots of scars like on his uh, oh. on his like chest and on his body. Uh, but I'm ready to. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to take the announcer shouts out. Not only are the gloves coming off, but the whole top. <laughs> All the love in my heart. I dearly hope Cecilia knocks you off the pillar again. <laughs> 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 in the same table. Hey, I already. I already got to say the uh, with God as my witness. He's broken in half line. So I'm. I'm fine with whatever happens. They've, the rest. They've of managed the, to get a game. second table in just if, in time. <laughs> if Buck dies in this game session, I will be okay with it. All right. Oh boy. Lyra. Yes. <clears throat> All right. I would like to. Move slightly closer <laughs> to Cecilia. All right. Slightly and I would closer. like to try 
a second thorn whip. <laughs> Try a second thorn whip. <laughs> Just in pull case. Her off. Pull her off. I, I'm hoping that that's I'm hoping that's what'll happen, but you never know. Ooh. Come on. That is 19. gonna be enough. Yep. Mm. And yeah. which direction Finally. do you pull her? Is it towards you? Yeah, she pulls her towards right, me, pulls, so she's off the pillar. She, it latches onto her. She's <laughs> like, uh, cocks one eyebrow, has a little smirk, getting ready <laughs> to like box you, Buck, once again. A, a vine <laughs> reaches out, wraps her around the waist. She looks down, looks back up. Oh, fuck, man, gets pulled. <laughs> down, down, down. 30 feet yeah. of falling damage. Yeah. And just... Boosh onto the hard <laughs> ground. She takes quite a bit. She's looking real roughed up. Ho ho ho! All right, next my bird. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right, just gonna. Choo. Uh, well, maybe like a not the full distance, but like, you know, fly by, and then it's got sixty feet of fly speed. It can end up like here. Okay. That'll be fine. Just like. Uh, yeah, just a just a little zippy zip. And for that attack, man, it's really nice that none of these guys have hit me, and I haven't need to make any concentration checks. Uh, okay, spell attack. Ooh. Oh, oh my god, wow. it crits! Okay. Roll, roll, uh, oh my one more, <laughs> just in case, because he is dodging. That's oh, okay, right. yes. Oh, that's right. He is dodging. The 11 is oh, not gonna be enough, no. if only. No! No! My bird friend, why? Drat the fury. Drat. Oh well, he's learned. This is why Still, I'm a better knows, bird friend. He knows what he just he's narrowly avoided. There proudly with his two hit points. <laughs> And I'm going to bonus action uh, uh, Bomb of the Summer Court for Word, because I saw he kept taking those hits and doesn't have resistance right now. Oh, yeah, thank you. No problem. <laughs> so that's one, one hit point. One. This is really uh, paying uh, dividends. Uh, All right. Fantastic. Cool. Uh, so that's my turn. All right. Next time, Bird, don't worry. He can't dodge forever. Fritz. Hi. Um, I can move, do an action, and then move again if I still have movement, right? Yeah. Awesome! Yes. I'm going to peekaboo! Hi! I'm sorry, <laughs> your worst nightmare just called. Uh, oh and god! I'm going <laughs> to hit him job. with my crossbow, the, the swordy guy. Oh! oh very go. nice, yes. Hit? Give me the Whoa. fire damage, the 1d6. Very nice, and yep. It fires in, it's setting his robes ablaze. It's looking pretty back, roughed up. Behind I go. <laughs> Dang. All right. <laughs> Ooh. Wonderful. We're gonna make bank. <laughs> All right. Next to the gladiators, turn Cecilia. Just on her back, she is writhing in pain a little bit. She just shouts out at the other two, "What are you doing? Hit the mage!" Ah. <laughs> yeah, you haven't been attacked at all. Oh, that's okay. And it was bad two, to happen eventually. That's funny. The the archer is going to fire off. She's like losing a League of Legends match. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Quit feeding. Where's our, where's our jungler? Yeah. <laughs> drag. Get red oh, buff. Take drag. center lane, damn it. Why didn't you use Ignite in that match? I don't oh my get God. it. It's been so long since I played League. We're taking the dragon right now. Yeah. <laughs> the archer preps an arrow with an explosive tip that explodes right oh beside goodness. you, Lyra. I'm going to need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Uh. Okay. Yeah. I don't think I get any benefits on that. And I rolled a natural one. All right. You are going to take six force damage from this thing that rings out and just like a shockwave burst against you. And you're gonna make Uh uh, make a con save, DC 10, to maintain your concentration. Roger that. Question. Can I give eleven? Is giving oh. inspiration like a reactionary thing, or do you have to do it? Bird's on still time? here. I that is a more of a homebrew uh, or like a house rule mm. thing. I don't. Uh, I do not allow people to give inspiration to others, uh, uh, or rather, their okay. their inspiration die to another person. I see. Personally. Mm-hmm. I'm curious. As for the spell sword, the spell sword is going to come over here. It is going to use. Misty step once again to teleport here, run up, and take a swing at you. Oh, Ooh. okay, just a second. Ruh-ruh. There might be a thing I can do about that, actually. Uh huh. Um, uh, oh, no, okay. When a creature ends its turn within five feet of me, I can do something, mm-hmm. but I don't think this counts. <laughs> Luckily, it does swing and a miss as it pings cool. against the, the stone pillar, but now you can move out of the way. Great, then Since I'm going to use my swift stride it. reaction to move up to 10 feet away. So let me just boop. Ha ha. 
And just as well, this guy is sick of your bird. He's going to take a throwing axe no. and try <gasps> and throw it at the bird. How dare. Oh, my goodness. All right, what's my bird stats? Quick. <laughs> yeah, what is the AC on the bird? Uh, the bird, uh, hold on. Uh, armor class, uh, 11 plus the level of the spell, so 13. 13. Looks like. How much HP does it have? It has, just a second. Like 20, I it's think. It's something like that. Uh, yeah, you uh, like yeah 20. 20 hit points. Okay. Uh, plus five, actually, so 20. Wow, that's yeah, a No, sorry, bird. plus five. No, plus five yeah. for each spell level above second. So if I upcast it, it would have 25 or 30, but it only has 20 because I still can't that's cast it. It's still a lot. So he throws an axe. It yeah. <laughs> chops off just a little bit of feathers. The the bird is still pretty <gasps> okay. It takes seven damage. Eh? Well, now it's personal. <laughs> uh, let me just note that in my notes, I guess. Um As for Cecilia herself, she's going to get up using half her movement. And she notices you, Word, and she's like, you. <laughs> Me. And she is oh going to go gosh. up, and she's going to start pummeling you. Oh, no. No. Okay. My God. I fight for my friend. Her, you <laughs> dodge the first get my, swing. Get, get my skull caved in. Okay. You dodge the first <laughs> swing. The second swing is going to crit. And no. Oh, no. <laughs> And you are going oh, to take no. 13 bludgeoning damage. Ah! Just oh a big is he still up? To the skull. I'm barely still and up. And she's going up? to use her bonus action to. No, no. The uh, flurry of it. blows. He didn't uh, even do oh, the worst damage. Uh, and you're able to dodge that one too, luckily. Oh my god. Oh. I genuinely dodged some serious hits there. Yikes. Ooh. Next, you were. You're right next to Cecilia the Great. Uh. <laughs> You think you're so tough. And I start like kind of just slowly circling her with my movement. <laughs> <laughs> but you're up against God and his acolyte. There is nothing you can do. No attack you can make that <laughs> could so stop so any so of sick. us. And I'm using Grovel, Cower, and Beg <laughs> to distract her. Oh! I'm basically just ranting about how we're the best and she sucks. And I'm just gonna give everyone advantage on attacks against her. Whoa! Just Whoa. While, I'm, while I'm fucking with her. Yeah, as you're circling around her, what are you? <laughs> Nothing. I'm fucking perfect. Where'd she go? Hold on, is she under I say word? the same about oh. myself. Okay. No, I, I'm like circling. Oh, I see. Like, I'm not gonna be in the way. Yeah. Sorry, I was just trying to figure out the logistics. Iconic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Buck, your turn. I don't want to Joe, diagnose. you already know what I'm about to do. I'm about to jump from the pillar <laughs> yeah! and RKO this lady. Off I'm, the top rope. What do What do I have to roll oh. to to make that happen? Off the top belt buckle. I'm gonna I don't say, know. I've turn buckle an, a, an athletics, which you have advantage okay. on. Because of you rage. are going to take thirty feet of falling damage. It yeah, fine. But <laughs> because of the laws of motion, <laughs> so will Cecilia. <laughs> All right. Well, one of those was a thirteen. Okay. Come on. Come on. You fall from the top row. Yeah. Onto the hard pavement. No! 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 That's so lame. <laughs> <laughs> as the crowd is like, oh, ooh. <laughs> as you land just like body first onto the ground, you're going to take 12, <laughs> reduced to six, oh bludgeoning damage. No. <laughs> I summon my acolyte, <laughs> all his flaws and Wait, perfections. Yes, yeah, okay, that was at advantage. Okay, never mind. Yeah, no, it was. It, it wouldn't was. have been at double <laughs> advantage because of the because of the because of the thing that we're doing. Can I still can I can I still attack? Can I still hit yes, her with my Yes, I'll hammer? say that's a movement action. <laughs> <laughs> and do I get advantage because of whatever it is? Yes, that advantage works because of words thing for yeah. for the attack, uh -huh. plus two for flanking, and that is going to be that. How do you knock her out? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, so in the. Uh, <laughs> So I, I fall from the sky and land shirtless on the ground beside her. Um, what I would like to imagine would happen is as I do that, she turns around laughing as like I'm on the ground. Um, and then Word like taps her on the shoulder. So she turns around and sees Word. You. Um, and uh, when by the time that word is like like dodging hits from her like points over to his acolyte, she turns around and is just met with a face full of hammer. <laughs> my God! Oh, oh my goodness! The cinema. Face full of hammer, just a little 
bit like you swear you saw something fly out of her mouth. Ooh. Ooh. And she is knocked unconscious. The crowd goes quiet for a second and then erupts in a cheer. <laughs> the Acolyte yeah. has knocked out the bull of Nuba Sky! Thank goodness for the rest we all acquired at Rama's Inn, the soft shores. Let's all go drinking! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, can I take off, can I, like, uh, take <laughs> off my, uh, soft Even shorts more thing? shirtless. Oh. Uh, I, I want to take... You gotta remind them who you, who you did it for. I want to take off my soft shores, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> handkerchief mm -hmm. uh, that's around my mouth right now. I want to say, have a good sleep, and then I'll drop it on top of her. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you oh drop God. as it falls and slowly, gently lands on her. Buck. I was really expecting her to turn into a dragon. <laughs> you get an inspiration for that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Would have used it to not look like an idiot falling <laughs> yeah. from the top. That's rope. okay. Buck, <laughs> and have, you can use it next time you look like an idiot. I'll use it next. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. So There'll be plenty rallying, of opportunity, baby. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> okay. There are still three that's more combatants. Turn. Oh, that's still fighting. Uh, yeah, that's my turn. Oh, yeah. I gotta go get my it's daggers over, yet. over there. Did the axe guy take the dodge action again, or...? Um, no, he attacked your bird, remember. Oh, goody. All right. <laughs> well, let's do the bird first. <laughs> the uh, bird. <clears throat> the bird. He's going to do another flyby. Just, okay. you know, dealer's choice where he ends up. 12. 12? Not enough, sadly. Uh, As the bird alas. flies by, I'm going to put him just out of range so that he cannot get attacked because he's got 50 feet. I'm going to put him right there. Yeah, uh, he's got 60 feet. 60 this feet. This is a speedy right. bird. So, like, about there, yeah. Yeah, and okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna um, move closer, and I'm gonna do. Actually, I don't even know if I need to move closer. Just a second. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll move a little bit closer, uh, and then I'm going to Thorn Whip. Okay. I love combat cantrips. They're so good. Show me Thorn um, Whip. Actually, hold on. No. Mm, no, I'm gonna frostbite him actually. Show me frostbite. Ooh. Costs exactly the same. Uh, okay, and he so just needs to make a DC 13 Constitution save, which he's unable to do, sadly. Ooh. <laughs> you, and that's gonna be enough to knock him out as well. Oh, just, really? Nice. Boosh, just <laughs> this cold beam blast through him, and uh, just being cut up by this bird, he falls over. <laughs> Good work, bird friend. Okay, uh, yeah, that was a little bit of movement, um, action, uh, bird friend. Oh, you know what? I'm going to, uh, do another Bomb of the Summer Court on Word, who looked like he was about to go down last round. I, I, f I feel awful right now. <laughs> Please roll better than one. Uh, three! <laughs> better than one! <laughs> three I'm up to one. nine. Every little bit helps, baby. Okay, that's my- Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, no, sorry, I just entered it wrong. You're good. Oh, cool. That's my everything. All right, wonderful. Two down, two and to go. The announcer. And another one hits the ground thanks to Lara. Never let it be said that a support is unwelcome. <laughs> Th thank you. <laughs> All right. Next, Fritz. All right, so. <laughs> kind of a side I'm sense. getting subtweeted by the announcer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's ratioing. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to move over 10 feet, and because of my. Uh, my gust of wind. It says here I can use my bonus action to change the direction of it. Ah! So Ooh. I'm going to use my bonus Push. action to direction it at this guy. You are going in the cold, yeah. my friend. <laughs> All right, let's Move see. He needs Get to make fire. a DC. Oh, he rolled like shit. He gets pushed <laughs> into <laughs> the hot coals. Oh, and boy. And he's going to have to make a deck save. And oh, no. Um, that was my bonus action, so I'm going to now shoot at the archer. Okay, let me see another shot at the archer. Pew! The pew 18. lands, and the fire damage just singes him once some more uh, again. Oh my gosh, he's looking pretty roughed up himself. This uh, cage match is not really keeping him as safe as he thought he would. <laughs> All right, and that's me under my turn. We definitely had a harder time fighting the other dragon, right? I think so. Okay, yeah. Granted, she's not in dragon form. <laughs> yeah. So. It, that probably would have yeah. helped, if I'm being completely honest. Oh my goodness. It would also be against the rules. 
It would? Don't, Ooh, That's yeah. don't say sauce. that before there's a round. You don't know if there's a second phase. Don't yeah. say that. Don't <laughs> Listen, I, just, she don't, I feel bad She don't her. get special treatment in the Coliseum just I'll because she's I feel bad she didn't help a friend. Oh. What's the rule that prohibits her from turning into a cool-ass dragon? Uh, the rule of fairness, because there's other normal people that can compete in the Coliseum oh, that can't turn into a oh. dragon. Oh. <laughs> well, you know, okay. <laughs> but healing magic is allowed, which is... Yeah, but I assume if I turned magic. into a panther, that would be okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see if the spell sword is able... No. Okay, let's see. And these <laughs> just ah, falls on his face you know, onto the hot coals. And you can see that oh, there is no. like a mage kind of off from the sides that casts a levitation spell to make sure he doesn't fall asleep on the hot coals. Oh, goody. <laughs> oh. Yeah. But he's out. And the archer, noticing all of his allies are gone, drops his bow and concedes. What? Congratulations. Wow. Yay. And Heck yeah. the announcer calls <laughs> out, and the winners are the Pilgrims of Satya, the Phoenix, the Acolyte, Lyra, and the God King Word! I wasn't last. How oh, nice. This was for you, Rama! Can I, I'll lift Word Fuck up. the guy who yeah. said your shit was bony or whatever. I don't remember what he said. Fuck it's that fine, guy! It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry, friends. Fuck that guy! <laughs> Fritz <laughs> like yelling out <laughs> And you guys oh, are gosh. tended to by some healers, as are the other gladiators. They're brought Ooh. to uh, a safe place to be healed. You are brought oh, back up to full HP by the clerics on standby. And some of us never left. <laughs> <laughs> and as, <laughs> as, as you are, you can see on the other side of the arena that C Cecilia, after she's brought back to consciousness, doesn't look like a, a single stare at you guys as she storms off oh, into geez. back into kind of her, her side of the arena, mm. into the waiting room where she is. Hmm. I don't think we were supposed to win. Well, I assumed as much. Skilly sheep. What do you mean? They, they shall? <laughs> <laughs> I love <laughs> this Phoenix persona. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, honestly, Skilly sheep. A whole new side of you. <laughs> I mean, they had to consider the fact that we would win. I mean, we challenged the, them to the match, right? Like, mm -hmm. we won? It's... I mean, yeah. it was challenged. a good no, show. We're renowned. Saviors of Satya. I think this has Very. less to do with us and more to do with certain standards Cecilia holds herself to. Mm -hmm. Should we go? I mean, we're going to have to get the heart. Yes, we need the heart, so yeah, she's going to need to deal with it. Let's, can we follow her? Can we follow you her? You can. I assume yes, there's a little as... pomp and circumstance we need to do of like, uh, you know, smiling and waving, but. Yeah, the, so as you are healed by the clerics, you're led back, and the guards uh, mm -hmm. kind of tell you where Cecilia can be found in the other part of the arena. Um, which I do not oh, yeah. have a map for, but just oh, imagine well, it's kind of like a locker room. Theater of the room. mind. Theater <laughs> of the mind. Uh, imagine it's like a <clears throat> locker room. And uh, while you are getting all healed up, you can see that one of the registrars, um, one of the uh, clerks, comes up to you and is looking through a, a bunch of sheets of paperwork and kind of looking at a few things, a little bit disappointed at a few points, <laughs> and then Ooh. counts kind of in a bag and hands you, uh, whoever will take it, a pouch of gold, Ooh. your I'll winnings. Take it. <laughs> Thank you. I'll, I'll divvy it up. Yeah, evenly. I trust word with that all one. Right. <laughs> Divvying it up evenly, you all each receive one hundred and fifty oh. gold pieces. Oh. Whoa! There was a lot of That's money being bet that. against you, and whoever bet mm -hmm. for you just got a big payout. Oh they heck yeah! Rich. Oh, I forgot to do that. Darn. <laughs> Yeah, you didn't bet on I us. forgot. I, I didn't know. Well, you had four uh, gold, right? So Yeah, well... I, I had like 50. We must have had really bad odds, so I could have bet a big payout. Um, yeah. 1 to 20. I want to knock on the door before we go in. I don't know if she's changing. So you, when you get near the door, you actually hear muffled a very familiar masculine voice that's oh, no. yelling, kind of Pop shouting pops. out, You let them absolutely walk all over you! What was that? And you hear a soft voice, I'm sorry, Dad. Oh yeah. And then yeah. you hear the masculine voice again. You know why? You know why you lost? It's because you let your stupid glass jaw teammates drag you down. Don't think I didn't see you getting that cure wounds ready. And look where that got you. 
Look what that got me! I'm going to be the laughing stock of the town now! You've lost a bunch of n to a lot a bunch of nobodies from a backwater town with a dragon that's lost its marbles. Is that what you want? You want me to look like an idiot? <coughs> and you hear the soft voice again. No, Dad. Then why in the fuck were you even thinking of doing something so stupid? Your so-called team ma mates can't keep up. They ain't worth your time. Don't let them drag you down the door. The yeah, we're, I'm <laughs> walking in. I'm gonna Hold open me the back, door. Lara. I'm a big be old man. <laughs> not now, Fritz. Not now. <laughs> we should. We should. We should definitely kill that. Guy. He is extremely susceptible to social manipulation. You. You open the door, and you can see he stops mid-sentence, and you can see that it is Andre, and Cecilia. Cecilia is sitting on one of the benches, uh, not saying a word. Not. Looking up at all to anybody until she hears the door open and quickly glance at you and then quickly glance back down and Andre feigns a smile Ah, the pilgrims from Satya is good to see you uh, a good match out there mm. And good he just afternoon. kind of starts to walk past you. What's up? Good afternoon. I spit at his feet. Whoa. Oh, jeez. <laughs> he looks down at I look up <laughs> at the spot on which you desecrated and then he I'm just gonna walk up. past him towards Cecilia. Yeah, I'm going to Cecilia. <laughs> Fuck that he guy. He simply walks past you, and he just says, "Pilgrims." I'm flipping the bird at him. <laughs> Can he tell? Uh, I don't uh, know, but it's somewhere in that oh, yeah. feathers. <laughs> <laughs> you are the bird. Yes, I am the bird. bird at he you. just walks out of the room, <laughs> and uh, after he leaves, a few. Deafeningly silent seconds pass before Cecilia speaks up. What now? You're here to gloat. You're happy. Is she back up at full health? She is. Okay. Well, <laughs> there goes my plan A for making nice. Um, as, as you you would assume that she's back up at full health as you have been healed to full. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That she would be healed to full. Mm -hmm. Your performance was, was wonderful. That was fantastic. She squints her eyes. What's your angle? No. Nothing. Just <laughs> I put, listen. I, I don't need I your pity. Shoulder? All right, I can do well, fine all by myself. This is how fortunate that I, you are not receiving pity, it. Pity, yes. Well, fine. Can I offer you a gift? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Too bad. And I take off my armband with the. The in logo on it, and I hand it to her. You hand it to her, and her face immediately goes from anger to her eyes start to twitch a little bit, mm -hmm. and like kind of looking, darting around, mm -hmm. and she just clutches it. Where'd you get this? Uh, a, a good man, I think. I think she grabs you by the scruff of your oh. your jacket oh, and geez. lifts you up with one arm. <laughs> Easy. Oh my me. <laughs> What did he tell you? Only that you were friends. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't, I don't, I don't know nothing. I just <laughs> thought that you liked, that, <laughs> that you liked him and that he liked you. So I thought that you would like that word, thing from him word, to you. Word, yeah. Maybe stop talking. Talk. <laughs> okay. Listen, I don't need friends and I don't need you. All right. So whatever you heard from that scrawny bastard don't mean nothing. Hey. All right. Don't talk bad about I suppose my it means only as much Sorry. as you allow it to. Regardless, we are here for a reason. I believe you already know what it is. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 the heart. That's all you ever care about, huh? Stupid pilgrims, all you ever do is come here, take what you need from us, and leave. Don't give one whit about any of the folk of the land you're supposedly saving. And how do I even know you're saving it? This whole pilgrimage nonsense could be made up and doing fuck all for all I know. Hmm, well it isn't, but I understand why you're angry. She lets go of word to fall on his feet <laughs> and drops your handkerchief on the floor and she reaches into her pocket and she just clutches it real tight and opens it and you see a nearly identical handkerchief oh. from the same soft shores. Oh. Oh. Well, let's be careful not to misplace it. Yep. You can see that when you open it as well, inside, you can see that actually Rama's name is written in oh. in a nice little script. My heart. Well, that is adorable. 
I'm going to leave that other one on the floor for her to pick up later. No, no Rama only has like four of these. Yeah, we can't we keep throwing them around. I, 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 give it back to him. I, I would hope that she would take it in, in the stead of she the one She just put it on the floor. Taking, she doesn't deserve guess... it. Whoa, whoa, uh, whoa. <laughs> uh, okay. I, I guess I'll let Fritz I just it took up. it because I felt bad, okay? His tavern's going out of business. You don't have many people. Might as well give him some company, right? Very compassionate of you. I yeah. think you would enjoy being at the oh, bar right it. now. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're going to go get yeah, a we, hammer. <laughs> we, did, we did this for him. I didn't care about winning or losing. I just wanted to see their business do better. Put on a good show. Have fun with everyone. Isn't that what you do this for? Yeah, I didn't mean like, hmm. like 80% of what I said in the arena. I mean, I did it to get the heart, but, you know, <laughs> we were going to get that either way, so... Mm -hmm. Give me a, a persuasion check, Fritz. All right. Oh, maybe maybe an inspiration on that. <laughs> I'll put an inspiration. Yeah, I'll use my inspiration. <laughs> All right. Fifteen. That's better. Yeah. That's better. I'm not lying, but yeah. No, of course not. She gets up. She towers over you, Fritz. She's like three heads on you. Mm -hmm. And she looks down. I. <sighs> She just looks kind of at, away from you all. You really did it for Rama. You didn't hear me shouting about it? <laughs> <laughs> she was unconscious. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> I think yes. she was. We're all wearing his logo. I, I beautified his business. He's sweet, and everybody deserves a chance to figure out what they really want to do with their life. Mm. Even if they I decide not to do this, like... Yes. Gotta give him a and shot. She, po he she points he at herself. This is my life. I had a nice thing going, and now I'll forever be known as Cecilia the Sort of Okay. I suspect you'll be forever known as Cecilia the Dragon. Yeah. And you are a fantastic combatant. It's just, she, you know, not out of the question that the champions of the whole region are going to pass by and maybe do something that nobody expects. She points at you all. You don't know what it's like to be Dragon. I'd like to. <laughs> she looks at you, Word, almost about to punch you in the face. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> but then clutching her fist and remembering what Fritz said. Hmm. My dad <laughs> makes sure I'm the best. He makes sure that I'm perfect. I am the dragon. I don't slip. I don't need help. And I certainly don't lose to some farmers from Satchia. Because if I do. Mm -hmm. Have you truly never lost before? I. I have lost a few times in the past. I just. It's hard and. Dad, he's. He's. He's, he's fine when I win. Mm. But if I lose, then everything he says is right. Hold on, hold on. Mm, that doesn't sound accurate to me. Sorry to insult your father, but is this the same person who tried to rough us up at the beginning? Because I don't think someone who doesn't stand next to you and fight gets a word to say on what you do with your fighting. She just looks down, and she uh, looks down at the handkerchief that she handed over to you. I don't believe that. Hmm. Does he? he certainly seems to talk a big game mm -hmm. for someone whose profession appears to be being rich and impressing people with that fact. And also unkempt. <sighs> hmm. He didn't always be like this. He was different before we discovered I was Dragon. But ever since then, it's just... I don't know. I thought it'd make things easier. Have you expressed to him how you're feeling? I don't know if he wants to listen. He's your... Dad. Well, Fritz, we aren't all lucky in the parent department. <laughs> oh, yeah. he is my dad, and that's why I can't let him down. Mm, that's certainly not true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna spit no, you a little bit about you. As times, someone daily. who mm. technically doesn't have a dad, I've messed up so many times in front of my dad, oh, dozing, and yes. do you know mm. what a real what all most dads do. They can be hard on you, they can be rough, 
They push you to leave the city even though you don't want to because they want to see your growth. But mm -hmm. they always want to see the best in you. And if you explain and express, then a real dad will concede and help you back up. My mentor Shemaya is much the same. Mm. I wish to do her proud, but she has told me that I have already done so, which doesn't make any sense to me, but I trust her. And if not, we could beat him up I for you. I can't fully relate because... <laughs> yes, we could also do that, but I somehow don't think that would help. Uh, your sentiment is appreciated, Pilgrims. I just... She just looks around. I need to think. Take your time. Go have your party or whatever. I'll wait. She puts kind of one hand to her ear, and immediately, uh, Lyra, you mm -hmm. also, you hear something uh, within mm -hmm. your brain, a, a sending message from Edmund. Edmund? Edmund. The knight in shining armor? He is. Yep. Mm. The knight in shining armor. And he, uh. you hear his voice. Uh, my lord, uh. Lyra, uh, whatever you do, please stay inside the city walls. The blot is laying siege to Nubis Sky. Oh, no. The, go the guards and I are holding them back as best we can until the dragon arrives. But your priority right now is to keep safe and keep the dragon hearts away. Ah! And then his cry um, cuts oh. off. Okay. And Bad news, everyone. <laughs> Cecilia just immediately... I don't have time for this. And she runs out of the room. We, we have the heart, right? Yeah. You do have the heart. Okay. I think what either I have it or Fritz no, has it. Who do you... Anyone can have it. Is the one that's holding I, I, I'll take it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I just, uh, oh, since we oh. know the blot targets whoever has a heart, it's probably good to centralize it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay I'll, I'll it. add it to my inventory. Yeah, thank okay. you. Yeah. So what what's happening? The blot is laying siege to the city and Sir Edmund might have just been um, knocked unconscious. Uh, yeah, fuck. That's a good uh, way to put it. Let's go now, right? Let's he go encouraged now. us not to do that. He said we need to stay somewhere safe. They're attempting to hold off the blot until the dragon arrives, which I assume is why Cecilia just ran off. Um, are there still people inside but here? I think we should help. There are. You can see that they're kind of dispersing. Um, okay. Can I? It doesn't seem like shout? the news has spread to the public. Can I shout? Sure. Um, like hmm. uh, we're inside the locker room, right? Well, well I stepped yeah, out. I'd say yeah. you can make your way out. I'm gonna if say you so wish. I'm gonna start shouting like, "Stop! Yeah, like don't!" Like thing. I'm gonna be like the blood, and basically try to get people's attention with keywords until they listen. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> you you hear a few gasps and and get a bit of attention. Stay inside. It's safer. And I'll explain basically relaying like what's going on. Could you? Fly like this is an open top yeah, coliseum, I'm flying right? Like I'm yep. squawking. Yeah. You might want to fly up and just see if you can yeah. see. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, yeah. Is the wall <laughs> high enough? For, like, are they, are they yes, like low? you fly up and you can see. Let me bring you back to the new Sky map. You can see that there does seem to be a fight <laughs> outside the city walls over here. Ooh. I need to leave the big guy. <laughs> so it's, it's outside, not exactly on outside of civilization, <laughs> outside of the Colosseum, but you do see that there are some people like being run inside. There are some guards. There are some mm. fires going on. Okay, yeah. I'm basically going to tell the people inside to stay here for now because it's probably the safest spot. Uh, and what is your guys' plan? Hmm. I mean, we, I think we should go check on the innkeeper and then get out there and help fight. I agree with Word. I think, I mean, we're the pilgrims of Alinthi. I think we owe it to not just Sachi to help them, but we, we need to figure out what's going on. It is rather disconcerting how many people have expressed the sentiment that we care only about saving Alinthi in the abstract and not actually helping its yeah, people. They're, they're entirely wrong. This whole journey has, for me personally, has almost nothing to do with that big fancy tree and a bunch of little pieces of Trinkets. It is. I want to make a name for myself. All right. It is very important. I can't important, just leave but, this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <sighs> eh, not to me. I mean, it's important to you, and that's why you're traveling with me. <laughs> All right. Yes, let's. Yes. Let, we're we're talking. Spending too much time talking about that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Let's that's... make sure Rama's all right. You can end my so, life later. So, you guys are going to the soft shores. Yes. 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 I don't suppose we could have gotten in a short rest. Uh, <laughs> yes. In you, between. Uh. Well. <laughs> If you so wish, it would be an hour. Oh, really? You should never a mind. Short rest is like thirty minutes to an hour, I would say. Uh, nah. Uh, you are 11. healed to full HP at the very least. That's good. So yes, you go to the soft shores. Um, 
I presume to talk with Rama again. I'm gonna check on him. Well, make sure he's not getting we... ambushed by Blot or whatever. Yeah. yeah. And you can see. I, I think. What's up? I, I would suggest that we maybe send him to the Coliseum. He has mm. made it back from the Coliseum. Yeah, we're trying to catch up. Oh, him. oh, yeah, that makes sense. And he, he, you sort do of... see that there are a few patrons in the Soft Shores now. Just a nice. few. Just a few. Mm-hmm. We should have yelled harder. He is. Um, he yeah. has uh, been serving a little bit of food. He's waiting behind the counter, and he waves you in. Uh, pilgrims. Uh, thank you so much. You you did not have to do that kindness for me, but uh, I, I thank you. I. I never had so many customers before. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. We mm, we don't want to make everybody panic. That's yeah, very we, like, good news, but also Rama everyone's in the back in the about to be moving the posse to the Coliseum. <laughs> well, okay. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. How defensible is everywhere, and where should we be to minimize damage? I mean, there's just a big wall but over defensible. here. Defensible. Is, is something wrong? Is something the matter? Uh, Yes. So you know that weather phenomenon, right? Oh, no. Yeah. Mm. Oh, well, it, it, you, I mean, in here is mostly to be safe, yes? Okay. Uh, I presume word is spreading now. I'm sure the officials are telling everyone to keep inside. I, I rushed back here as soon as you made your announcement to come just so I wouldn't get swamped. Uh, I was not there for any sort of official announcement, but yeah. I'm sure the no. guards are escorting people to safety now. Don't, uh, Do you believe that? Okay, legitimate question. Yes. Is that in line with what you know about the guards in Nuba Sky? Mm-hmm. Well, uh, yeah, for the most part, yes. Uh, I'm sure okay, some of good. them go out and fight. Uh, Cecilia must be out there right now. I, yes, I she is. She Just is making safe. sure. Uh, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna scooch out of. Well, not I guess I not out of earshot of Rama, but like trying not to be heard by him. Um, <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. The blood is definitely here for us. We should not be here if we want it to remain safe. Right. Oh. Let's. I think we should probably go and meet this thing head on if they're outside. The, yeah, so it doesn't enter. Town. We could maybe. I need to put a shirt on. <laughs> <Where's my laughs> <strapper? laughs> does this town have horses and like maybe ponies? Uh, yes, it does. We have, could rush out of the door and it does race have past carriages them. Uh, if you have the money to spend to, you know, we actually bring you might a little now. bit faster. Uh, could we kindly commit a crime? It is in an emergency. <laughs> no, no, no. We we yes, have money. We always. can we can spend the money. I'm going to try and use the sending stone to contact Edmund again. I know he went ah last time, but he might be up again. I don't know. <laughs> what do you send? <laughs> um, I'm going to send um, Sir Edmund. We believe the blot is most likely in pursuit of us. I believe it might be most prudent for us to try and lead it away. I hope you have received this message and can respond and are okay. Good luck. No response. I never know what to say on these things. That's a bad sign. <sighs> okay. Let's go horses, I guess. I wish we could do more for these people, but the most we can do right now is leave. I'm not sure about that, but I wish we had a way to reach Cecilia. Let's. Uh, we could go uh, out there and find. We certainly I could. That might be the move. I, I, th- I think we sh- could at least try it to see if if we can hold this hold this off. Mm. Uh, we should go. We should go. We now. should go regardless. Mm-hmm. Right, right. I can procure us a carriage just in case we yeah. have to leave. All right. I think the rest of right. us will go to the. Yeah, we'll. Yeah, you do that. <laughs> we'll go to the All area. Right. Uh, and yeah, you can. You can. Yeah. Um, I guess before we leave, any anything we want to say to Rama to like uh, keep his spirits Rama, up? Keep the doors closed. <laughs> oh, so do we think. Do we think we're leaving now or. I wouldn't are, are put we it. Try to, are yeah. we gonna try to? Oh leave? yes, you might also want to um, resolve certain she of your interpersonal stop. entanglements. Uh, maybe we'll just go to the yeah, gates. We'll go catch up. I, I don't want to leave you. Uh, um, <laughs> okay. I, I, uh, point me to the caravan. <laughs> Actually, if we're splitting up, um, <laughs> at risk of that being this a seems truly like awful the idea. Time to split the party. I, I'm simply <laughs> considering our options. If word is acquiring us transportation, and Buck, I know you have business in the city that perhaps you should resolve. Um, Fritz, yes. I can turn into something small that you can carry. I, we are on the same page. I was very good the same time. Thing. Let's go. Excellent. It's cat mode meta. time. I'm going to be a little yes? bit meta as your DM to let you a kindness. You will have opportunity to, to, to finish up things in the city, even. <laughs> After you deal with this, if you so wish. Okay. Okay. And okay. Then I'll go with them to the. You don't the have block. to leave immediately. Okay. Okay. 
I appreciate that. I will go with Fritz and Lyra there. Okay. okay. I, I was going to suggest that you guys come with me Question. to handle my thing, because I don't want to leave you guys since you have mm. the hearts, but I'll just, so I'll just go with you. Yeah. I can still go yeah, cat mode, I, I, I still want to carry you. It's fast. Point okay. question. That was my question. They answered it. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Let me use a wild shape charge real quick. Do you want me to carry so you? So word, or do you're going to get a like, carriage? On it. Yeah. All right. Hmm? Look up how much I feel like costs. I'm probably faster than the carriage, so we're going. Oh, that won't be needed. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're booking it. Oh, that won't be needed, you say? Cost. <laughs> hmm. Okay, you as can see that there, there are a few mount <laughs> sellers and people offering carriage services as well, like uh, like a taxi service. Okay. Um, I assume we'd only need two horses, so I could probably... What? What's my animal handling? Oh, I'm okay. I will try not to mess this up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so what's the actual layout of a situation? Let's say there is like a, a caravan that someone is tending to that has a couple of like steeds in yes, front of it. Yes, and a few carts as well. But you can see in the marketplace, guards are escorting people to closer inward towards the city. And they're kind of Good. like, a lot of them are packing up as well. Packing up shop, packing up their, uh, you know wild stock and stuff like possibly that. Possibly making for the boats. Mm -hmm. <laughs> huh. um, okay, and what are they doing with the animals? Like, are they escorting the people The people away, and the animals. You see also... that on a larger scale, the crowd's kind of heading towards the Colosseum, which will probably be the safest place in the city. Good. Okay, looking at the guards, do they have any specific type of, like, badge that they're yes, wearing? Yes, you can see that on their kind of padded garbs and armor, mm -hmm. you can see that they do have the Alinthi sigil kind of sewn in. Okay, I will walk up to someone who just has a couple horses, um, and I will cast <laughs> Prestidigitation to briefly create a golden emblem with that sigil in my uh -huh. hand, <laughs> and, like, Flash my badge and be like, I need the common deal. I need you to give me a deception check. Oh, God. <laughs> Six. No. You, you say Come this on, and the, you see the, the person bearing the reins of the horses. Yeah. And I'm the Lord mm. of Satya. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You got me. And I, I, I pull out the little fake crown and I put it on my head. Oh. I am You're the God, the God King, King word, word, and I need your horses. <laughs> uh. Give me a persuasion check. <laughs> okay. Six. <laughs> oh, well, uh, nice, uh, nice and nice fight uh, at the match at the at the Coliseum, but uh, I still need to make money. You know, I still gotta pay my bills. Sorry. Offer him an autograph. Offer him an autograph. <laughs> what if I gave you this crown? <gasps> Oh, you make a very good, mm, very good convincing <laughs> deal, Mr. Worth the God King. I don't know if that's worth a horse. I'm sorry, man. I just got to go. The guards it's are pushing the fate of a linthy, you no, fool. No, 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 no. Fine. The guards are pushing. Like, I, I pull, I don't pull up hold up traffic. No. And he shrugs. Uh, maybe after the, maybe after the, the drill, huh? Drill? All right, what if I rented one for five gold? I, I can't do that, Drill. man. That's too low. 50? <laughs> You're holding up the traffic. Just give me the horse. <laughs> I'm sorry. Social 50 is the best I could do unless you could get these guards. To, uh, uh, and the guards are just like, sir, you're holding up traffic as well. <laughs> I, I flashed the badge to them. <laughs> give me one last deception check. Oh, oh baby. Got arrested. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Six With this, the critical failure. <laughs> the guard kneels down to you, sir. If you either don't get your butt out of here in ten seconds, I will have to put you in the brig. I I'm sorry to have wasted your time, and I run to the next guy, like <laughs> in the other direction that has a horse. How much for the oh, horse? God. The guy goes, "Oh, this one. Oh, uh, it'll be. Oh, uh, 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 this one's lame. So uh, let's say uh, twenty gold pieces. You're lame. <laughs> oh, well, uh, uh, that, that's kind of hurt my feelings. What about gold. ten? And <laughs> what about ten? And the the crown of the god king? Oh, uh, you were at the tournament. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I'll take the crown and ten gold. I was the sole victor. <laughs> Uh, its name its name is Butterscotch. <gasps> I love it All right, already. Butterscotch, and... you're going to be my best friend forever. Just don't be slow. The horse just <laughs> neighs at you. And you, as you can see, it, it is lame. It, it has uh, one bad leg and it kind of gallops a little bit off a little bit. 
but it is oh, able to carry shoot. you. Okay. Um, <laughs> wait, is her movement speed like how, how slow is she? Let's Butter see. Five E okay. horse. Horse Thank movement speed. I speak with animals now. A riding horse 50. is fifty. No, sixty feet. We'll say her movement speed is forty, as fast as Buck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh cool. boy! You gallop and gallop and make your way to the party. I valiantly ride butterscotch. <laughs> okay, and the party. You're going to the wall, are you? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And you see, you're stopped by some guards who are like, oh, "No civilians. What are you doing here?" I'm not a civilian. I am both the God King Word and one of the the pilgrims of Sachi, and we got to go that way. Word. What are you? And doing? we're probably. Is that a horse you buy? <laughs> What is that? She's beautiful. Her name is Butterscotch, and she will live longer than me. What's wrong with her leg? What's what's happening? You, I thought you were gonna get a carry. Nothing, she's perfect. Nothing's wrong with it. Okay. Um. We're we're not. Oh God. We're not civilians. We're we're, we're the pilgrims. Uh, we're trying to help. Well, if that means you're even more important to protect. I'm I'm sorry, sir, but you can't. And then boom! A loud explosion. Ooh. Everyone make a dexterity saving throw. Oh no. Duh. Even butterscotch. Even butterscotch. No. Thirteen. No. Okay. Butterscotch is fine. She kicks a little bit. Oh, she lifts God. her front legs, and you nearly fall offward. Is is this an effect that I can see while not blind and deafened or in incapacitated? <laughs> yes, it is one that you can see. Because if so, I get I get advantage. All right, with a twelve. Okay. The well, D well, the DC really. is twelve, so you do make it. Hey, so, so everyone nice. except word. I get hammered. You take three force damage as this massive explosion oh, no. happens right at the kind of opening of the wall and knocking a lot of guards on their asses. Uh, Poi, uh, rather, uh, Fritz, you take two instead. Uh, wait, everyone else took three, did I say? Yes. Yeah, yeah, am I taking six or seven? Uh, you here? take three, everyone else takes one, sorry. Oops. Oh, that was okay, my cool. mistake, sorry. I take three. No worries. You just get back one temp HP. You take one because you made the save. Okay. I, bye bye I'm one my numbers mixed temp up, sorry. HP. <laughs> and the guards are just kind of reeling as a lot of them were hurt, and you see that the way is open. Well, that's I get... serendipitous. You going? <laughs> um, are we are we leaving or are we going? Like, where's the? We should probably get up on the wall if we All can. All right, I can take you up we there. Should, we should check on the dragon, Thank make you. sure she doesn't die today. I'm going to go through the wall. You're going to through the wall? Okay, through the exit yeah. of the wall and up on the wall. Uh, yeah. Anyone who's Split not here, you don't have to worry about putting your token on the board. But you see, looking down, that there is a bunch of blot oh, civilians and oh, the a few houses. Oh, God. You can see there are blot hounds as well as the um, oh, no. geysers, as well as just some normal blot as well. And I will play some music now. Uh, can we get a, a full profile image of the dragon form? Yes, yeah. you can cool. see Dang. Cecilia the Great in her dragon form, a massive hulking quadrupedal beast that does not have wings, but has thick, heavy plates of scales covering her, as oh, well oh as her gosh. signature minotaur horns. Ooh, she's scary. Yeah, that would not have been fair and to fight. the same uh, signature iconic uh, blue paint Oops. on her face, war the war paint. paint. And she is bashing oh, uh, and smashing Blot left and right, but you can see she's getting a little bit overwhelmed. You can see mm -hmm. as well, Her closer to the too. wall, uh, there are a few knights that are in gurneys being tended to and being protected by some clerics, including one uh, Edmund kind of sitting, oh, good. laying down. So he's not dead. That's good. And you can see that among the civilians, her dad is there as well. Ah, oh, shit. Is he doing Good. anything? He, you see he's just like Dying. panicking. He's surrounded oh. by blot. He's trying to like wave like a like a cane at them left and right to try and push them away. It's not working. <sighs> Great. So uh, bottom left edge, is that the um, is that where the wall would be? I would say sorry, the just wall bottom edge. is to the bottom, yes. Yeah, where we okay. are. Okay, great. Hmm. I think honestly we should save that guy so that she doesn't feel guilty for having him. That died. would probably be the, the, the heroic thing to do. <laughs> yeah. How right. high up is the wall? I mean, we don't... The wall is really high. It's like mm -hmm. eighty feet. Flying mm. squirrel? Sadly, I don't I don't think we're gonna be able to do that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. And the I'm way range the works. <laughs> Anyone know the uh Pythagorean theorem? Uh, is that how it works in D D? <laughs> Oh. Well, if you're shooting diagonally down, uh, we're going to have to calculate how far the shot is as well as how high it is uh, and then do like A squared plus B squared. 
<laughs> Math. Brilliant. Yeah, we love it. That's what this game is all or about. we could not do that, and I could just like simply subtract like eighty feet from your range, whatever it is. Mm. How do that does mean we're? I think I can. I could just come through the wall. <sighs> okay. Um, do you want me to get you down? You can see that there are archers on the wall with you that are trying to fire volleys of arrows, but you see they're very careful. Very few shots are being fired because of the civilians that are around. Mm. You see, they only mm. seem to fire, like the only time they consistently fire are at blot that are far away from the civilians. Everyone else, they're aiming their arrows, but nary a shot right. taken. All right, we probably want to try and do some extractions, mm -hmm. get these people out of here if yeah. we can. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Joe, how can much put... how much longer do you think we're gonna go for tonight? Likely yeah. like thirty mm -hmm. to forty minutes. Is that gonna be okay? Uh, if you need, if you want to call it here, we can. We can pick this up. Some I other think time. I, I think here might be a good place okay. to call it. Cool. Right. Cliffhanger. Okay. Yeah. yeah go. We're yeah. gonna call it here then. Cliffhanger. All right. If that's okay, sorry. Yeah, it's fine by me. Okay. You know what? It means I have to prepare less for next session. <laughs> hey. Yeah. But yeah. Cool. If you could, uh, if you get to save these layouts, could you slap butterscotch yes, on the map I too? Yes, I will make a butterscotch token so and I'll slap it on. In fact, I think here. I still have a horse token from my previous campaign. I'm going to find Good. it right now. Cool. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I can keep her under extras, so I got all yes, the details yes, on yes. my character sheet. Let's see, where is horse? Where is Hans? She was only 10 gold. <laughs> And a crown that cost a copper. Horse, 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 but horse. might eventually end up being put in the museum. I just realized a horse is on the list of things I can wild shape into because it's only CR one fourth. Lyra, I'm not riding yeah. you. You're riding horse. So we have two horses. <laughs> Turnabout is fair play. I was thinking what I could do to get people out of there quickly, but you know. All right, butterscotch with a golden. I'm sorry, wings are superior. Here we go. Maybe faster. Oh sorry. my oh, goodness, my God. butterscotch! Enormous. Didn't mean to make her that big. Butterscotch is huge! <laughs> Send butterscotch, butterscotch out. Get, get them. Shadow of the Colossus music starts blasting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's because the token is very high res. Yeah.